Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tabletop Bob. My name is Bob. I'll be your game master tonight for tonight's Shadow Dark RPG one shot, The Hidden Leprechaun Hollow. And your... uh, we've got plenty for of fun Shadow in store Dark for tonight. Oh, we got an echo, too. Look at this. If somebody's turned. Yeah, there we go. So we got uh, a fun St. Patrick's themed one shot for you all tonight. And we've got an excellent crew. We've got Randall, Steph, Steve, and Jeff. How are we doing tonight, everybody? How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Fine and dandy. <laughs> Good. Awesome. And I, I'm so excited to play tonight because um, we I did a, a run of Tomb of Horrors here on the channel of Shadow Dark. It was it was so much fun, but you know, like all campaigns, it ends. And then you get that like yearning. You really want to play again. I got to play a one shot for Valentine's Day, and then we're keeping the, the tradition going here. We're gonna do uh, a one shot for St. Patrick's Day. I uh, you don't want to even see the flag day one I've got going, okay? It's gonna be awesome. You don't want to miss that one. Stay tuned for announcement, all right? When is flag day? Are we day, playing actually? flags? Yeah. When is Flag Day? Does anybody even know when Flag Day is? I, I feel no like idea. it's in the summer. Maybe summer? Not. Perfect. <laughs> it's, 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 it's sometime in the year. It is there. Arbor Day? <laughs> That's going to be a good That's one. That's a good, an ant themed hey, one. Yes. You know, yes. You know um, Nebraska is who invented Arbor Day because they had no trees. Really? That's my is that Active living in Nebraska. Flag day is June fourteenth. Hey. Hey. Oh, I guess you were technically <laughs> off by literally a week. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> wow. So close. Well, I'm excited. Hey, the because... world's changing enough. It, it, it's basically summer. Yeah, it's getting close here in New, in New York. It's been. Uh, it was nice today. It's like like mm -hmm. sixty degrees or something like that. Feels great. Yeah. You know, though, if you feel sixty degrees in like the peak of summer, you're like, my God, it's freezing. I need a jacket, but you know, wintertime, 60 degrees, might as well wear shorts. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> now, I'm also excited because I get to play with all of you. And it's been a while since I think some of you have been on the channel. I know, uh, Randall, you have probably the longest hiatus, I think. It's It's been uh, quite some time. You weren't I, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, right? Was the last time you played? I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think Wild Beyond the Witchlight was my last time. I, wow. I don't I don't remember if there if any of the one shots I did were after. I know we did don't say Vecna, but I don't know if that was after or oh, before no, or... that was that was, was the that? last time then. Yeah, okay. that was after uh okay. which light. Gotcha. Well, you know, it, it's before. been a while either way, because that was a long time ago too. So <laughs> that was that back. was also a very long time ago. <laughs> yeah. It is good to have you back. And then Jeff, of course, uh last time you were on was if I'm not mistaken, it was the uh, Keep of the Borderlands finale, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. The after the after show. Yeah. Was my last appearance. Well, Jeff, it's good to have you back. I know you've been uh, diving <laughs> into that. Warhammer at the gaming club. Yes, and... yes. I've been beating my head bloody against Warhammer <laughs> forty thousand since oh, since then. And um, oh. and of course, Steph and, and Steve. I think you guys have been on a little more recently, but we have to get a Supernatural twenty back on track at some point. Uh, but Steph, you were also on for. The Star Trek themed uh, game, which was yeah. last summer. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah. So and Steve, of course, always happy to have you back on the channel. I'm excited to see uh, your characters got me got me more interested than everybody. I mean, the other characters are fine, whatever, you know, but your character <laughs> has me more interested than anybody else. So uh, it's the love tonight. Sweet, yeah. Well, I think um I think all your characters are great. We made some characters oh, prior yeah. to the stream. Um, we decided to uh, make them third level for this adventure. And if you're uh, new to Shadow Dark, if you're like, I don't really watch your channel for Shadow Dark. I watch uh, for Curse of Strahd or Keep on the Borderlands or Icewind Dale or whatever those long fifth edition, you know, you know, campaigns we had are. If you're if you're like I've never seen Shadow Dark before, well, where have you been? Shadow Dark is an awesome RPG. It's uh, part of this you know old school revolution. It's simplified a lot of the mechanics of five five E, and and it's uh it's fun to play. It's it's real easy to pick up. And I know Jeff's played with us before, but Randall and Steph and Steve, you have not. So this will be your first time playing. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean the rules are cool. They're, they kind of remind me of old basic edition D and D combined with some fifth edition facets. So I like it. Yeah, and, does uh, a real so nice job. 
yeah. Oh, sorry, Jeff. <laughs> so it does a real nice job of uh, recreating an old school feel with uh, modern mechanics. Mechanics, yeah. Yeah, and it and it stays kind of light without being uh, wispy. Let's mm -hmm. just say it's it's rules light without being rules uh, deficient. Like to get the wisp out of there, you know. Yeah, no wisps. Yeah, Steph, Oops. were you gonna say? Oh that? yeah, I was just gonna say. Um, yeah, it's my first time playing, so if I screw up, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube. I will not read it, but um, <laughs> <You'll feel laughs> maybe better. for next time. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, Steph, we've done, you know, the new game. We've done a lot of different new games on the channel at this point, and um, we're all kind of like learning still. I mean, I played a decent amount of Shadow Dark, but there's something I always look at. And I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't I didn't know that I was playing it wrong. So we're going to be very, very kind. Chat will be very kind, I'm sure, to us tonight, as they always are. How's it going, chat? Look at this. We've got Heritage, Tommy Bravo. We've got uh let's see robert is in the chat we've got a lot of people here tonight and i think uh this is going to be a fun one so let's jump in and introduce our characters uh we we went with a i, I mean we i didn't really say we're going with a a theme or a universe or anything like that this is kind of like you know standard generic fantasy in terms of like their you know the setting um i think it's going to be you know i it's it's St. Patrick's themed is what I've been telling everybody, but it, it's really because there's a leprechaun in it. Okay, so that's why that's why we're going with it. Um, but it's the hidden leprechaun hollow. This is one of the adventures that Kelsey had created, Kelsey Dion, the creator of Shadow Dark, um, uh, created with the Kickstarter. So it's going to be really cool to see another one of these. These are like one page one shots. They're so perfect for the timing that we we play in. You know, we try to give content in a manageable chunk. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to go around and explain our characters, who they are. Some we got we have Vikings. We've got people with Irish names. We're gonna. It's going to be awesome. So we'll start with Jeff. Jeff, you tell us who you're playing. Okay. And, uh, the big and, two. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm playing uh, Torvald the Courteous, and he is a sea wolf, which is kind of a, uh, he, he's, he he's a Viking, he's them. not a berserker. I'm sorry to say what? He sees wolves and he eats them. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, anyhow, uh, he's, he's uh, physically pretty stout, uh, he's quite strong and, uh, and tough, but he's very clumsy which is probably how he got the name of Torvald the Courteous because he's constantly apologizing for tripping over people um, and bumping into them. Uh, sea wolves are, an, are a class from uh, Curse Scroll number three, which has a strong Nordic mm -hmm. theme to it. Uh, and uh, they're the, the Viking Raider type class. And he has an ability that lets him pick uh, a, 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 a blessing from one of three of the old gods, Odin, Freya, or Loki, that I'll have to choose uh, at the end of each rest. So at the beginning of the game, I'll have to pick. Other than that, he's got a shield wall ability to jack his armor class up, and then he's just kind of a basic fighter apart from those things. Okay. Well, I'm excited to see the, the sea wolf. And what was the choice you were going to make? Is it, you said you had to make I, one? I think I'm going to go with, uh, with a blessing from Loki, which gives me advantage on any check to lie, sneak, or hide. Gotcha. Okay. Chad, I'm going to do one thing here at the sound to make, I want to see if this will make a difference. You let me know, okay, right now. Nothing like doing something, tweaking something right in the middle of the live stream. So just let me know if you can hear the sound really well now or if anything has changed now. And Jeff, can you just say one thing to test it as well? One thing to test it as well. Thank you. And Chad, you let us know if there's anything that has changed in the volume. I feel like things are the same. I would say, or at least I'm seeing them the same. Let's see. And why don't we do that? Well, we'll go to Randall. Randall, who are you playing today? Hi, I'm playing uh, Seamus O'Duggan, uh, a human. Uh, that is what he's best known for, at least. Uh, human wizard. Um, Jeff went into a lot of detail into what he can do. I'm well, gonna... just because it's a new class, it's I... not in the core book. <laughs> I'm I'm just, I'm I'm gonna shoot you straight. Mm -hmm. I got magic, and I'm gonna <laughs> use it. And I don't care who knows. I love it. And that's my deal. Now you're a classic wizard, basically, right? Spells, pretty classic. Not yeah, a lot pretty... of fighting. Yeah. How much, yeah. How many I mean, hit points uh, do you have? Not not in the traditional sense. Right. How many hit points do you have? Uh, I think I actually rolled 
really well on most on pretty much everything. I roll I have 12 hit points. Big the big 12. I will tell you this. I have more hit points than I have armor class. So <laughs> doing good That's, already. That is like. supposed to be the way I think it is, but you never That's, know. I aim for that in all uh all, all characters. Sorry, I have it by I have it by one. <laughs> <laughs> so a replay of Hieronymus. Fair good. enough. Wizard Fair has enough. the most hit points. <laughs> yeah, not a bad idea. And then, uh, Steph, why don't you introduce everybody? I'm just going to step away from the computer two seconds. Go ahead, Steph. I want to hear it, though. I'm going to hear it in my headset. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I am playing um, a goblin fighter named Yplag. Um, and I'm going to be honest, like everyone picked theirs. Mine was completely random. And I am winging it. So we we did a random generator. This is literally what came up. So my goblin Yplag, uh, Yplag, that's how you pronounce it. I've decided. Um, slight hoarder. Um, and I have a total of twenty five daggers on me. So <laughs> I, I thought someone. you were going to say hit points. I was like, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> hit points guys i'm very excited um if anyone has watched supernatural 20 you have seen me die a lot so, um, <laughs> so i'm gonna i don't know if i'm gonna keep that going <laughs> um but yeah so so every time i i see a body i take their dagger so i uh, i have quite a few daggers on me you know, one of the best things about a, a a game that has you know more rules light than others, easier to make a character. So if you die, we'll be able to get a new replacement right away. Just go it's going to Shatter... be just as good as you plug. <laughs> you just go to shadowdarklings.net and push one button. Yeah, and you're ready to play. You're ready to go. It's literally, it's literally what I did. <laughs> and uh, like I was Honestly, saying, before, I respect it. <laughs> we're true. going. We're doing it. <laughs> so true. Uh, like I was saying before, the coolest character of this bunch is definitely Steve. Steve, go ahead. Oh, my. Thank you. Teacher's um, pet. So I'm playing a very shadowy, very darky, dark elf named Sir Kronos McPhee. Uh, he is a knight of St. Idris, a uh, brother. Um, let's see. As far as his deity is concerned, I didn't really – I kind of made it my own deity because I didn't really like – the one, I mean, I, the ones that were listed were cool, but I chose Pazuzu from The Exorcist. I thought that <laughs> kind of meshed with this guy. He was very similar to my supernatural 20 character Yagnir in a way. Sure. Yeah. Um, what else? So he has a special ability, which I thought was pretty neat. He can call on his deity to demonically possess him three times a day, and that will give him Sweet. plus one damage to, uh, I guess, melee and ranged weapons. Um, so that's pretty neat. What else? He's got a great sword. He has two attacks at plus two. Um, he will do the classic uh, dark type of thing where he's got the hood mm -hmm. over his head. He can't see his face. Uh, like I said, he's a dark elf, so I guess that would make him a drill. And um, yeah, he's ready to go. Awesome. And uh, just like your character, I think we're ready to go. You ready to play some Shadow Dark? Yes. Yes, so. yes. Let's, let's here we let's, go. Let's get dark. Here we go. And uh Tommy Bravo in the chat says let's roll high, shadows. magic gets fickle, and someone is getting shanked. This is gonna be <laughs> great. Somebody's dying tonight, and I don't know who it is. You, the monsters, maybe it's the DM. I don't know. We'll find out. Here we go. The DM is dying. <laughs> the game master. You've killed God. You monsters. <laughs> <That's a goal. laughs> here we go. All right, so. The Hidden Leprechaun Hollow is basically, um, a, it's a myth, everybody. It's a myth. No one really believes it. Um, but a spring rain has traced the sky with a brilliant rainbow. And everyone knows the legend. A leprechaun's hidden abode lies at the end of it. And if you're fast and bold enough, you can steal the mischievous phase cache of gold right out from under it. And of course, you're in your town. What's our town's name, everybody? Randall, give me a give me a first give me a first answer to a question here. What's our town's name? Oh, Farthington. Farthington. Um, is it far or near? Depends on how long you walk. <laughs> Farthington. It's a walkable town. There we go. 
and you're in Farthington and you see the rainbow and everybody's saying it, the rainbow looks real close. It looks like it's just off into the old foothills over there. Maybe perhaps there is gold. So you gather your things, you wander out, if not just for a nice, beautiful walk um, in the springtime, and you head and you see, could it be an actual, an actual uh, cavern where the rainbow's light leads to? That's right. The rainbow touches a rocky cave, illuminating a magical door. You get the sense that this cave's door is opened by the power of the rainbow. So as long as this rainbow stays, the entrance will be open. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Jeff, you're a, you're a Viking warrior here. Aye. Give me a wisdom or intelligence check, your choice. Uh, it doesn't matter because they're all plus zero. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, well, I'm out of my element. I'm a What'd sea reaver. And I don't know about this. Uh, no. Uh, I don't, What'd you get? I, Call out uh, your I, number. I rolled a three. A three. A three. You think you've got all day. It's probably going to be good for at least 10 hours. Hmm. Torvald. <laughs> he left. How long do we have? <laughs> I think we have all day. <laughs> We're in no hurry. <laughs> so oh, he I says this. Accents. <laughs> <Don't get me laughs> <off>. Well, <laughs> Yip Yip Lag doesn't have an. What accent. What do you mean? I don't, I don't have an accent. You're the one with the accent. <laughs> You're the goblin. <laughs> I still don't even know how to say your name. I don't think you do. <laughs> Fair enough. So, um, everybody, you see this portal opening right into the cave entrance. Again, as long as this rainbow holds up, you should be fine. What do you want to do? What do we got? Well, really, I think we should sit down and have some lunch. In because fact, uh, all day. <laughs> How big and wide is this portal? Oh, the portal is uh, big enough for any humanoid to go through. And when you say portal... Do you just mean doorway, or is this like a wow, wow, wow? It's just an open door. <laughs> no, it does, looks like. Uh, I mean, it does it like seem a, obviously magical, or is it just an opening into a cave? Obviously magical. Okay. Obviously magical. Now it does look almost like a door frame has been, like, basically carved out by this rainbow. So you can imagine the rainbow like kind of hitting the rock. And then where the edge of the rainbow is, is the portal. Making like okay. a door, almost a door frame, but it's it's certainly magic. In my and, uh, dark elven themed voice, I say, I do not fear death. And I will walk into the portal. Oh, yeah, you did. Sorry, are we going to die if we go in the portal? Why would he say that before going into the portal? I thought there was going to be good things in there. And there's probably going to be good things. Oh, but but Torvald, you, you just we can't stop and have lunch. We just had first lunch. <laughs> no second. Had lunch. one, yes. I will. <laughs> That's fine. We can go. So Sir Chrono steps into the portal first, and then the rest of the crew decided to uh, follow, despite lunch being a viable option. Sir Chronos, you enter in first, and as you're bathed in the the, the rainbow light. Um, you get the sense that you have now transported somewhere. This is no longer the town of Farthington, this walkable town, very walkable town. You're in somewhere else, the Shadow Dark, perhaps. And I'm going to switch um, us to our um, map. Yep. Okay. In the Shadow we, Dark, it is pretty is dark. Known? Say it again, I'm sorry? We all know of the Shadow Dark, or is, is that a myth, or is that something we're, we're you would know with? Uh, as adventurers? You've you've been to the Shadow Dark before. It's basically any place that darkness takes hold, and it's mm. dark here. So the rainbow light was beautiful, uh, and now it's a dark it, hallway. Dark is my thing. <laughs> and I'm just switching us over to the map, so you can see the map now. I think it's visible to all of you, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, great. Um, it's a dark hallway. Does anybody have a torch? And I'll just move Steve to the front. 
Yes, we are told. Yeah. Um, I always have a torch with me. Great. Why don't we start one? Uh, Steph, do you want to use your torch and I'll, I'll uh, start the torch timer? Yes. Now, my torch is separate from the lantern, correct? Correct. If you'd prefer to okay. use the lantern, you could. Um, is there any advantage to that? Well, torches, you know, sometimes they can be fickle. If you drop them, it could it could certainly uh, go out uh, if they get wet. The lantern would cover you a little bit better, probably. Because lighting... I... Oh, sorry. I was going to say, I'm going to use my torch first. I'll leave the lantern for um, emergency. Okay. So there's no um, infravision, dark vision in this game at That's all? That's correct. There is none. Every single creature, right. whether you're an elf, a dwarf, uh, if you're not dark adapted, which means you're a monster, essentially, that lives in the shadow dark, you, you don't me. have it. And okay. I'm going to start the torch timer. Turns on me in case somebody needs one. Yeah, you could light multiple torches. Generally speaking, though, as the torches go, we put one timer up, um, mm -hmm. and and that's the way it works. So I've got one timer for one hour started. If that goes out or you start a new one, we'll restart the timer. Uh, and then also for everybody else, uh, there is one thing that we talked about uh, about crawling rounds in our pre-meeting. So basically the way we're set up right now is kind of like the crawling initiative. And Steve, since you went in first, we're going to start with you. So okay. We'll go clockwise. So it would be Steve and then Randall, Steph, and Jeff. You're rounding out the order here. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Steve, you're first, and I'll just move you up just a bit so I can move Randall and then switch okay. Steph and Steve. Perfect. So, Steve, on your turn, just like D&D &D 5e, you get your standard movement and an action. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to move your token? I have a sword in one hand, or is that a two-handed weapon? It is a two-handed weapon, but that's for, like, attacking. I would say you can just hold on to it with um, one hand for while you're traveling. But yeah, when so you I'll wanna... hold on to that with one hand, and I'll hold the torch aloft with the other one. Okay, so you and, and uh, Yiplag both have torches out. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks. So okay. Can I move, or...? Yeah, you can move. Move your token to somewhere in this in this cavern that you'd like. Oh, right in the center. All right. Steve, you enter the first room here. Uh, this is a look like an entry hall of sorts. Everything about this cave is very different than what you expected. It looks like it's well made. Like, whoever created this place, whether they use tools or magic, has made it a, a, a place that seems fit for, for living. There's a plush crimson carpet and a mahogany, uh, mahogany beams that adorn this cozy cream painted hall. The smell of cinnamon and fresh break baked breads fills the air and a still whistling teapot of blue glazed porcelain sits on a side table surrounded by dainty teacups. Are there any lights in this room besides ours or? No, yours is the only only one that illuminates it. Okay. Do I, from where I'm standing, do I see any, can I see any doors, make anything else out? Yeah, there are three doors, actually, to the north, to the west, and to the south. That's fine. Um, I'll motion everybody else to come inside. Sure. And we can just move everybody inside, because this is basically the same room. And uh, we'll go to uh, Randall. What are you, what are you doing? Um, a system question, do, or I guess, roll 20 question. For the torches, do we have to worry about who is holding them for what we can see? Yep. So if, if for instance, Steph has the tor torch out and she goes into a room, if you want to follow her, you'll have light. If we didn't have light in the previous room, it'll go out. Okay. So you have two um, right now. Steve and Steph both have one out. Gotcha. Um, okay. I uh, am going to... Uh, I'm gonna look her. I'm gonna go to the the tea set. I'll go to the tea set and uh, I'll poke poke around. It's uh like I said, whistling hot. You can hear the whistle of that tea kettle. Uh, mm. If you, it's not on a, like some sort of a burner or or, or a heat source. Uh, so as soon as you sit near the table, it seems to almost like cool down immediately. You hear the whistling dying off. I uh. Can, should it, can I t t see what is it tea or is it is it does it actually look like tea? Would you like to like pour tea? some of it or open the lid? Oh yeah, sorry. I'm thinking that 
I don't know why I'm thinking it's already in cups. Yeah, yeah, I'll pour I'll pour into um, uh, a cup. It's, a, it smells cup delicious. You can see it's got um, cinnamon. Uh, clearly, it's it's made with some sort of cinnamon. It's got aromas all over. And you can see some fresh cream and sugar on the table. Good. Hmm. Wanted to have lunch, but I suppose this will do. And uh, I make myself a cup of tea. <laughs> Perfect. And it's delicious, by the way. It's great tea. <laughs> Perfect oh, for this stormy I've just lost day. My own sound. Hold on. All right, Steph, you're up. Something's okay. Going. Um. Keep going. Yeah. I just can't hear for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we looked at the tea. There are three doors. It okay. looks like. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm going to go over to this door and inspect it. I guess to see if it looks like it's been opened recently. Um, I assume someone has been here, so. It feels warm uh, by the door, Steph, like uh, like some there's some sort of heat source from beyond. Okay. Um, I relay that to everyone. Uh, okay. And uh, you want to um, do anything to the door? Feel it, touch it, inspect it, open it? Um, I'm just going to feel it and say maybe we should check the other doors. Uh, okay. Well, guys, this one feels kind of hot. Maybe we should check the other doors. I don't know, like, I don't know what's on the other side of this one. Fair enough. Uh -huh. There could be a this fire. Could be a fire. Is it doesn't really feel like a touch? No, not like a, not like, a, not like a, there's a, it's a burning room or something like that. It's not like that. It just, you feel like there's just warmth beyond it. Like it's, uh, the heat's been cranked up. Okay. Um, um, why don't you listen to it, see if you can hear anything. Sure. I'll, I'll listen to it, if sure, I can. You, pre you press your, your uh, ear to the door, and uh, you don't hear a sound. I mean, there's no movement, certainly. I hear nothing, Honestly. guys. Hmm. Fair enough. But we'll that's either a very good sign or a very bad sign. Yeah. Mm, Only yeah. one of the two. Hmm. Let's pass it on to uh, Jeff. What are you doing? Uh, I will give uh, this door the same sort of treatment. The the careful careful look over, feel it with the back of my hand. Uh, is it a plain door? Is it a? Is yeah, it... they're all they're all plain wooden doors. I mean, they're okay. not. I wouldn't say that they are like in in any poor condition. In fact, quite good condition. Okay, like painted or just just bare? No, raw wood? wooden wooden doors, but they are. Yeah, they're like well the finished. Knob? Yeah, knobs exactly. Locks? Doesn't appear to be. Uh, you you do the same thing though, inspecting the door like Steph did. Yeah, I give it I give it a good look before I rip it open. You hear some sounds from beyond. It sounds like someone might be using some sort of tools to, um, a, a, some sort of like a workbench or something like that. You hear some pounding, some tapping. Okay. Yeah. I turn around to the group. I don't, I don't think we're alone in here. I think there's someone in there. You know who? Do we, Do you know who? <laughs> not, not personally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the terrible thing about me playing with Randall is Randall's accents always throw mine off. <laughs> I cannot do an accent when Randall's in the group. You do anyway. good ones. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, because then I start doing his accent. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, um, <clears throat> now you're using the tool. Hammering yeah. or something. Do you want to pass the turn or do you want to do something? I, 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 I figured that's about as much as I can okay. do in a turn. Steve, I'm not turn. slamming the door open yet. Right, of course. Yes, yes, yes. And Steve, what are you doing? Um, so I'm going to move up to this door. I'll do the same thing. I'll feel it with the back of my hand, see if there's any warmth coming from it. Not from there. I'll listen for anything, whatever I can hear. <laughs> yeah, you press your ear against it. You don't hear anything coming from this door. It sounds pretty quiet, just like Steph's door, basically. Is there any way I'm not a thief? Can I check for traps? Or Yeah, you could check. Um, you scan the door. I mean, you don't see anything. There's okay. nothing. There's nothing like on the floor that looks odd. 
The rest of this stone, the stone floor that's in this room looks pretty much the same, well cut. I mean, know. the doors are pretty much the same looking, right? They do. They're just simple wooden doors with knobs and no locks uh, or anything that seems apparent. I'm going to try the knob just to see if it's locked or not. It is open. Open. So I'll turn around and tell the rest. Yeah, I won't, I won't it open unlocked. it. It is unlocked. I'll turn around and I'll just whisper to the group. Open. I don't hear anything. Mm-hmm. Sorry, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear it. Like, there's no one else in the room. Just say it. <laughs> I'll take out a big bullhorn and there's nothing on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, Toss you a... I... <laughs> He tells you a little can with a string on it. Yeah. Oh, oi. Oi, there's Guinness on the other side. Let's go. <laughs> I know. I'm never going to be able to keep an accent going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, By the Steph. way, and apologies for my sound cutting out before. Was there anything that I needed to know about the tea? I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the tea. Yeah, Actually, it is your that. turn now. Just make a constitution roll, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely <laughs> drinking the tea. <laughs> It is your it is your turn though. Um, so you drink the tea and it's delicious. You add your seasonings and, and so sugar and whatever cinnamon if you want to it. And you're good to go. Um, you drink it. It's delicious and you're watching everybody just run up, feel the doors, and press the ears to them all. Well, Randall's not tripping yet on the psychedelic tea. Uh, not yet. I'm just having a nice afternoon. You are. <laughs> so right. it's your it's hey. your turn. Yeah. Why don't we, um, I would suggest we all go try Jet's door since he heard something. Sure. I'm with that. Want right. to, uh, yeah, you want to all congregate by the door? We can just kind of collect yeah. ourselves. There's no need for uh, a, str- a strict initiative here. Move yourselves. Jeff, if we'd like to delay to your turn so you can open it, we can do that. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll open this open towards me or away. How do you want it to open? Oh, uh, uh. Uh, what I would love uh, is whether it opens towards me or away is I just want to open it a little crack and see if I can look through and uh, take advantage of my of my uh, my Loki blessing to sure to try and do hey, that hey, subtly. You, you, can, you can you can you can use this dagger. It, it's it's super shiny. You can just like <laughs> use it as a mirror. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, take this so dagger. So I'm gonna try and open the door a crack and see if we I can just, see anything through. Open it, throw the goblin in. Oof. You could throw the goblin like a grenade. You no, could do that. No, 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 no. Just, just use the dagger as like a mirror. You know. And uh, one thing I, I forgot to mention to everybody at the beginning, because, you know, I'm such a terrible GM, but um, when you walk through that rainbow portal, you oh. all felt yourself. Um, Did feel... we taste the rainbow? You tasted the rainbow, and it <laughs> tasted really good. You felt like. Like Skittles tasted? Brought to you by Skittles. <laughs> Brought to you by Skittles. <laughs> Product placement right here. I just happen to have Please some Skittles program. right here. No. Damn you. Um, but if this were I, a true one shot, we're playing in like real life, I totally would give you Skittles because they would represent luck tokens. You all feel like you mm. got luck washed all over you. So everyone has one luck token. And the way it works is very similar to D&D 5e. It's kind of like an inspiration mechanic. You can only have one at any given time. So this is the one that you have. And if you spend it, it can reroll any dice. Just straight up any dice. So, um, and you can use it. I, I, I play with it. You can use it like kind of at pretty much whenever. I mean, you roll it to attack. If I tell you you miss, you could use it. You could re-roll it. You can you can use it kind of as liberally as as you want. You can also give your luck token to somebody else in any moment. So if somebody doesn't have one and they need a re-roll, you can give it to them. Um, and Jeff, uh, you feel lucky. And what was this luck or of Freya that you had? Uh, uh, no, no, Loki was what I picked. Uh, yeah, Loki. It gives me advantage on checks to lie, sneak, and hide. Awesome. Why don't you do that? Give me a, a dexterity check. Oh, boy, that's my good one. Okay, so apparently I've gotten a 10 is my better oh, roll. Oh, my God. All right, so you good thing you had advantage. Otherwise, it would have been a 1. You would have break the door down. Yep. All right. So you, let me just make sure, here we go. Let's take this door down here. You open the door and that banging and clanging and the sound of tools and, and, and sort of craft work that was going on that you heard from the door uh, mm-hmm. the round prior, as soon as the door opens, mm-hmm. it immediately stops. 
Inside, you see a, uh, a like a 20 foot by 15 foot room. Okay. The waft of rich oiled leather rises up and hits your nose. Mm -hmm. You can see boots, shoes, dozens and dozens of them on repair pegs around the room. Cobbling hammers and silver nails are scattered over a knee-high work table. And uh, what do you do? Uh, do I see any body or I just see all this stuff? Stuff everywhere. Looks like there's a lot of work going on in there, but no But the people. noise stopped and there's no people. Completely stopped. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'll push the door open a little further and, and see if I see anybody. And I'll say, oh, so sorry to bother you. Uh, we're just here to collect the gold at the end of the rainbow, according to the legends. I'll just move you in so you can see the entire of the room. There is not sure. a soul here. Is there? Are there any other doors? Not one other door. What about any uh, souls? In, any? Are there tools in here or just shoes? Tools, yeah, tools. There's a. Uh, I think do I they said, look like? Do they look like someone was working and just set them down, or are they put away? They look like they were just working and then are put down. Uh, is there any place in here that someone could hide, even someone small enough to work at a knee-high table? Under the workbench, maybe, perhaps. There's nothing oh. else here. Everything okay. looks exposed. Okay, so, well, I'll bend over and look under the workbench, and if I don't see anybody there, I guess that's probably the end of my turn. Sure, you move in. The workbench is on the opposite side, so I'll just move you over to the end. Yep. Uh, okay. And you can see that there's a, a pair of sandals underneath. <coughs> They have the initials G-G on the soles. G-G. And they look like they're about your size, Jeff. <laughs> you should wear them. You should wear them. Isn't, isn't that convenient? What size shoe you have? Does a... Uh, oh, Torvald? Torvald have. Uh, he's yeah, probably he pretty have? big. Uh, he's probably about a 12. They're, they're big. They're big sandals. As if they had sizes at yeah. this point. In, in, they do. In... In the history. shadow dark. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're sandals. Mm -hmm. All right. These look nice. I think I'll try them on. So you start taking off your boots and, and get ready to put these sandals yeah, on. Yeah, because I'm an idiot. So we'll I'll go. try it. <laughs> ah, it's going to be great. We're going to go to uh, Steve. I think you're up next. Um, Can I scoot past yeah, move um, yourself. Friend yeah. the Goblin mm -hmm. and go into the room? Yeah, go ahead. I keep on forgetting how to say your name, Steph. Eat Blag. Eat Blag. <laughs> I'll scoot over Eat Blag and I'll go into the room. I'll go right over to right there. Sure. You see the same thing. Like I said, there's there's um, repair pegs all around the room, cobbling hammers, nails, a workbench. Mm -hmm. Do I Anything see what you... Jeff is about to do? Yeah, you see he's putting on the uh, boots about to. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm going to warn him. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, but they look so nice. They're very nice, but this is very strange, too. But there's a lot of shoes here. It doesn't. It's not oh. a surprise that one pair would be in my size. You hold off and explore first. Well, I'll have comfortable feet. <laughs> he's going to do it. He's putting them on, and in another round, he'll be, he'll be ready to go. As it pleases you. <laughs> Let's jump over you to did, Randall. And you then... did what you could. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on you. <laughs> Randall and then Eplag. Uh, I'm gonna lean. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say I move up, but I am. Le I'm like kind of leaning close to Eplag and like a little because gobl goblins in Shadow Dark are also are still small, right? Yeah. You can totally oh. step over me. I'm not right. offended. I'm just I'm just kind of like leaning and looking into the door and I just kind of whisper. Hey, you plug. Can I have one of those doggers you got? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a color you want? I got I got colors. Do, do you want a shiny one? Uh, I Sure. Yeah. 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 And I just I'm like <laughs> shuffling through my my coat. Yep. 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 Two. Two, two. I, I, I really only need one. It's all right, too. I appreciate <laughs> it. Okay, okay. You're getting two. I, I take the dagger and I just <laughs> use it to stir my tea. Um, 
That's all it was for. <laughs> definitely laced with poison beforehand. And I need you to get me that when guy's you, leg. When you handed it to me, was it laced with poison? Or well, how well do you wash your daggers? I, I think I cleaned it off. Like the guy who I stole it from. Well, I mean, not stole it. I mean, he was dead. So like uh, the, the body that I took it from definitely had poison on it. Now, when you say took it from, do you mean took it from or took it out of? Ooh. Is there a difference? Would that change the outcome? Ooh. <laughs> Don't drink that tea. It, I'm sure it's fine. And just kind of tap tap yeah, it onto the, to the cup and, <laughs> and take a sip. Oh, uh, living on the edge. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, 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 tapping the dagger on the, We're, we're on about the to discover head. the subtle difference between poison and venom. <laughs> <laughs> is it poisonous or is it toxic? <laughs> um, I, I just, I just kind of hand it back. Thank you very much, you black. Because it probably doesn't matter anyway. This plan seems really cobbled together, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you know what they say: if the shoe fits. <laughs> also, uh, Torvald, yeah, I wouldn't put those on. Birkenstocks went out of season very long ago. <laughs> it's oh, this boy. great. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you lag. What are you, you I'm not even going to talk. I'm not even going to talk. Are you mocking me, you rat bastard? <laughs> you know what? I want to see you with the sandals on. <laughs> God. Oh, this I'm is... not even going in the room now. I'm staying if... out here. With my friend Yiplag. Oh my tea. Well, that is your my prerogative. My bloody poisoned tea. <laughs> Let's um, come to I mean, we, we seem to have searched this whole room, right? It oh, sounds yeah. like. Okay. Um, okay. Well, well. We search hmm. for our secret doors. Try well, and... Torvald, well, well, Torvald is, is, is looking to try on their shoes and not try on their shoes. Or, I don't know. He doesn't seem very bright, does he? I'm going to go check one of the other doors. Sure. And I just zip over to, um, I think I can zip over to this closer one. Sure. You want to open it? Yes. This door I'm opens gonna open to it a... very carefully if I can, like to kind of look in the best I can without going crazy. Yeah. It opens to a long hallway. You can see it, the hallway extends just a little bit beyond your sight. If you moved a little closer into the room, you probably could see, though there is an end uh, not too far away, about 30 feet away. But a a detour heads left. You can see another hallway jutting out that goes south. You okay. can even see the little guys. Uh, there, there's way more to this place. We should get going. All right, and um, if you want to move, you're good there. Stay where you are. You can move your token, uh, Steve. Uh, oh, no, sorry, Steve. Jeff's up. Get closer to Eats over here. Okay, hold on, because Jeff is going to go. And actually, uh, Jeff, I just want to uh, confirm one thing. Yeah. The boots. The boots are on, right? The boots are on, or the? You, or I thought you said it was sandals. The sandals, excuse me, I misspoke. Yeah, I put them on because clearly that's what I'm expected to do, even um, though I know they're cursed. <laughs> you get a plus one to your armor class. Oh, that, I definitely need that. That's lovely. Okay. The hell, nothing happened when I drank the tea. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. Uh, uh, your character's name is giving me Torvald. Torvald, you stand up, happy, you're wearing your out-of-style sandals, and you look to the group, uh, I guess it's really just uh, Seamus and, and Sir Kronos who are next to you, or in sight of you, um, but you, you present the, the, the sandals, it looks as though they, they feel great, you feel more powerful, you feel more protected with them on, and then everyone behind that you're looking at, their faces go blank as they you see shoes rising off of those uh, repair knobs um, and they start to m swirl around you. Around me? We're going into combat here. Uh, Roll okay. initiative, everybody. <laughs> oh. So the way this works is the person with the highest initiative goes first and we go clockwise from that order. So we're going to use our order here. Um, is It's just straight up initiative? dexterity. Just oh, okay. I was going to say there's no initiative button. Okay. Yep, just straight uh, yeah, up was... dexterity. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I uh, disregard my roll. I inadvertently rolled it with advantage. No worries. Or, or well, you, you can just. It doesn't matter. They're both zero. You rolled what? two zeros. I rolled two twos with a minus two. <laughs> but 
We're just getting it out early. It's fine. Wow. It's fine. Well, you are certainly going to go Yikes. last in the order because Steve got a... I don't see the dice appearing on the screen. I do. I see. Well, I see your roll. I don't think you've enabled 3D dice. That's maybe all the, that oh. happened. But How your first roll was an 18, Steve. So we're going to keep the 18. Okay. Um, that is, uh, you'll be the big, you'll be the start of the turn, and then mm -hmm. Jeff will be the end, um, which is which is appropriate, I feel like, for this one, right? Sure. Okay, let's do it. Uh, so the shoes rise up, and I'll tell you exactly how many there are. Uh, actually, no, Jeff, you've been rolling so hot. Jeff, roll me a D4. That's how many shoes come to life. Okay. One you, shoe. You lucky dog, you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to use this uh, token from Printable Heroes, this animated armor. Unfortunately, there aren't that many tokens of animated shoes. And in fact, these are more than just regular shoes. These are hobnailed boots. So for those of you who don't know, I had to look it up myself. They're like tree cutters shoes. So they got like spikes in the bottom so you don't slip, apparently. Hmm. Uh, All okay. right. So we go into cool. the order here. Uh, Steve, you go first. What would you like to do? Are they appearing to be attacking us, or what they are they They look doing? like they are headed right for Jeff, for Torvald. They're going to put their hobnails right into him. Okay, can I move up <clears throat> to intercept with my greatsword? You may. You have to drop your torch, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Well, I have a lantern, or is it It's just a torch? So he says I think a you, you lit thing. a torch, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I'll drop the torch. How do I yeah. enable the dice, first of all? Uh, well, the dice will still roll, but if you will go into the settings, it will, it'll tell you it dice options, and you can enable three dice. Do it on, in between your turn. Do your turn it, now. Yeah. All right. So, uh, I it says with the great sword, I have two attacks. I don't believe so. Does it give you an extra attack? Am I uh, mistaken? Yeah. Let me see right here. It says, great sword plus two, two hits. 1d12. Right. Yeah, so you get a plus two to your attack roll because of your strength. Okay, well, but it says two H after that. Two handed. Two hand. Oh, der. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's okay. That's all right. All right. I attack. Go for it. So it'd be plus two, so that's a six. And oh, the dear. hobnailed boots are going to evade the greatsword. Oh, Next sucks. time. Next time. These hobnailed boots. Um, we'll go to. Randall, what's Seamus doing? Um, do these boots count as an object or a creature? They count as a creature, although they are an object. So what do you want to do? And I'll let you know if it affects them. Um, well, I was going to cast Fixed Object on it. Ooh, what does that do? Uh, it, uh, any object, an object you touch that uh, weighs no more than five pounds becomes fixed in its current uh, location. It can support up to 5,000 pounds of weight for the duration of the spell, which is five rounds. So basically it'll make it so it can't move. Okay, I'll allow it. Go ahead, make your d20 roll. Okay. Um, and Randall is playing a wizard while he's rolling his dice. I'll just explain the mechanic. He has to roll for all of his, his uh, spells. He has to try to cast it. The DC is 10 plus the level of the spell, so this will be a level or dc 11 is that my am i correct uh this would be a dc 12 because it's a it, it's this, this is one of my second levels gotcha. or tier or sorry tier twos tiers exactly yes. um, um you get? so i think that that would beat it that would that, that is above the dc success and would you like to fix them to something perhaps uh the workbench or um yeah, if I if I can, yeah, if I can like fix it to something, sure. sure. Um, I think I can only select one object. I don't know if it, if I can if it's like a weld to something. But or, but it's okay. I'm cool if you want to like drop. So it's it's one object though, right? It's one one object. Oh, is this a swarm? It's a it's a pair of hobnailed boots. Oh, so it's a pair. One boot goes to the ground. Oh, no. Or to the workbench. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about pairs. You have a fixed one. One of the one of the boots just thinking about apples. One of the boots just. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're limited. Yeah. Maybe now that one is nailed down, the other one is limited in how far it can go. It certainly limited. would be. Yeah. And in fact, what they're going to do is you're going to see uh, what it does 
in just a moment because I think we have Jeff still to go. I want to. They're going to go after Jeff. Let's see what they they're do. Going after an initiative zero. Well, the group. Well, you're yeah. going first, and then it, oh, it, they're the last in the order. I think I did have to touch it, so I would have had to go to there. Fine. Um, I do not know as a player. Are attacks of opportunity a thing in Shadow Dark? They are not. They are not. Then I am walking away. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I am leaving. <laughs> uh, we go to Steph. Steph, you're up. Uh, Friends, open door. Friends, <laughs> open door. I pass. Okay, I got fair it. enough. <laughs> are you staying where you're at? Are you good there? Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm going to walk over and get myself a cup of tea because um, <laughs> Seamus did not die. So. Okay. So I'm you drink like, the they tea. They got it. They got it. They got it. Fair enough. Jeff, you have a, a chance to prove yourself okay. here. Does okay, can I tell if the if the loose shoe is restricted in its movement by the fact that the other that it's made is, is pinned down? Is that evident from what I'm seeing or it or is. is that... You know what they're doing though, Jeff? The Why? the one shoe that sunk down to the table, it's yeah. like un unlacing itself and it's reaching out its laces to interlace with the other one so they could connect and Get a little bit of a distance with it. Uh, okay. He's um, trying to pull well, his I'm friend. Gonna, I'm going to just, in that case, I'm just going to swing at the free shoe. Go for it. With my, with my, with my long sword. Which, sword it uh, up. Hopefully this will just work. A uh, 13. A 13 hits? Hit. All right. And my damage is six. Nice. You know what? Who cares if they're connected? You split the leather. Right down the center. The hobnails fly everywhere. The creature is destroyed. I am so sorry to destroy such a nice powder shoes. So the combat's over, everybody. That was it. The boots are destroyed. You've got these awesome sandals. All right, let's go. T time to go home. <laughs> you all pile back into this room. Move yourselves, Move yourselves here. Move yourselves here. You file back into the room. You move see, ourselves here. Yeah, move yourselves back into this room. You see uh, uh, Yiplag uh, making tea, brewing tea. And when you get to here, you see the, the rainbow door again. You can see through it. You can see your town of Farthington in the distance, or at least the, the grassy hills. But it looks like the power of the rainbow is fading. Perhaps well, I'm sure, your initial... I'm sure we have all the time in the world. Perhaps your initial estimate was off. <laughs> oh boy, we gotta get moving, guys! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, we go All to. Right. I am seriously thinking that we should go right now. <laughs> we are one treasure up. No one's dead. <laughs> there is no better possible outcome for a Shadow Dark adventure than one to nothing. We you're, should you're the, the guy. W and go home. <laughs> you're the guy who hey, Tor, wins you just don't four dollars in Vegas and goes back to the hotel room. Damn straight. No, I go to the free shrimp bar, but that's... <laughs> oh man, that is literally what I did in Vegas the one time I went. <laughs> well, that'd be a great stream. Everybody have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. All we'll right, see you later. <laughs> everybody lived. <laughs> I'm slightly more caffeinated than when I started. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Randall, uh, we'll just go to the top of the order here because Jeff just finished. So, Randall, you it's, go. It's only going to get oh, no. worse. Um, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, we'll go uh, the order, yeah. I am yeah. absolutely not going first, <laughs> but I will follow Yiplag um, after, uh, like, kind of swing by the tea, just refresh my tea, and then uh, f uh, fall in behind Yiplag. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll get some look uh, ahead, some arsenic-free tea, and head on into the next room. Fair enough. Uh, Yip lag, you go ahead. You'll lead, and we'll we'll all follow you as we move. Um, I want to peek. I don't. I don't want to walk in yet, but I want to peek down this way, this detour um, down below. Sure. I don't think you can see me like clicking, but I, I do see. I see this this area right here. You're looking at. Yeah. I just want to, like, peek down, see what's going on. Sure. Um, it looks like there is a... It, it's like a, a cloth barrier. Not, not, a, not a door, but, like, 
Well, let's make this. Let's just go. Let's go full on here. It's like a, it's like a beaded door. It's like just beads hanging down. Oh, that sounds like fancy. College that dorm. Way. Yeah. I'm gonna go that way and look through the beads. Oh, what do you see behind the beads? Well, just a you see, very cheap alarm system. It is. Yes. You see a, a four post bed that fills this room. It's got silk coverings and is densely embroidered with clovers. The closet door is ajar, and by that I mean slightly open. <laughs> Inside it, behind, there are coats. You can see just coats, and you hear sounds coming from it. You hear the sound of what sounds like it may be like an older, gravelly woman's voice. I oh. can't find anything over here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna engage. Perfect. Excuse I'll me, miss. The... Excuse me. Move yourself Excuse in. Excuse me, ma'am. You can move yourself in, and you could see a little bit more in the room, in the closet. Uh, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go through without permission. Excuse me, I, I don't want to go there without permission. Hello, uh, hello. Uh, who's that? Lemony, is that you? No, it's Deep Flag. Yep. What? What? <laughs> yep, what? Y you plag. You're a hag? Huh. I didn't think I was that old. Guys, she offended me. <laughs> we'll go to, uh, while you're... All right, I'll get my fireball ready. <laughs> Why don't we go to Jeff and then Steve, you're on deck. Uh, okay, so... She went into the room. I didn't go in. I'm like right outside the beadwork because I was hoping to get an invite. Did not get an invite. Oh, uh, I guess I'm gonna just. Oh, go. maybe you can't see me. I went around the corner. Yeah, I, I when I when I when I sort of went by, I saw you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, it, it, okay, so uh, now I can see there's a door down here. Yeah, there's a door. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. So okay. there's a door to the to the west, and then there's the room with the beads that you can see just beyond because okay. the flag is. I'm I'm smaller. just I'm just waiting because I know it's going to get worse. We should have left. <laughs> Currently, the most protected by wearing your open toed. I know. I know. I got my... <laughs> increasing. <laughs> got my your non OSHA sandals. approved <laughs> footwear. <laughs> who does Who does heavy uh, heavy craft work in sandals. Yeah, <laughs> I don't care. I, I work in sandals now. Also, I'll tell for you the, who. for the most magical pair of piece of footwear in a cobbler's workshop to be <laughs> a pair of sandals. They're exactly my size. They're you know so who wore sandals? Jesus. Okay. Remember that. They're super and, comfortable, and so I do love uh, everyone else. And I, <laughs> true. <laughs> True, and I and I do love Tommy Bravo says uh, plus one Crocs. That's what they are. That's oh. <laughs> oh I oh, okay now I understand. All the armor comes from all the shitty pins that are on it. Oh, Listen, yeah, that makes sense. We all know how much I love Crocs, and I've got them on right now. I've got my Mets, my Captain America Croc. Oh, God, disgusting. I've got Sonic. I've got Baby Yoda. Okay, right now they're on right now. Ooh. Took your shoes off on live stream. <laughs> shoes off. Are, are you? You're not. You're. Are you a socks with Crocs guy? I don't think you are. Are you? Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Socks. <laughs> okay. Well, it, it's it's lame, but at least it's less disgusting. Socks are on. Are we okay. should start on Patreon page here, or yeah, I was gonna say that's pretty good. The socks were on. I think that would have been a t uh, a. Uh, TOS uh, <laughs> violation <laughs> strike. <laughs> All right, so on there too. what's that, Steve? You need some jets on there too, my friend. I know. Well, they they got to earn it. Well, they would actually give you bad luck. You'd be tripping all over the place. <laughs> That's so. what happened. Um, let's see. So we go to Jeff. You you made your moves. Did you want to do anything? I, I yeah, I'm just I'm 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 waiting to see what happens. Okay, good. Steve, we'll I'm go good. to you. What are you doing? All right, I don't I'm move. Um, so Steph went down. Okay. So what did the person say who she, so the person said, she oh, it's me a hag. she called me a hag. No, she said, I'm sorry, but she said something else. Is that you? So-and-so. 
Is that you, Lemony? Lemony? I'll imitate her accent as best I can. I said, aye. It says Lemony. Lemony Snicket. Get, get over here. I can't find my glasses. Can I scoot over uh, Yippers again? And I'll walk into the room. What do I see? You see uh, the room that I described before with the bed posts, um, the clover uh, embroidered bed sheets, and a closet door that is open, and a deep, gravelly woman's voice coming from beyond. From beyond what the was closet that? door? Beyond the closet door. What was that, Lemony? I can't find my glasses. It's a mess in here. Her yeepers snip slash staff. Get in here. Get in here. So, so we're like a Harvey Firestein voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It, it in what? uh hairspray. Me, like Lemony. Yeah, what what, you, what you looking for? I said my glasses. Are you deaf? Uh, I I I'll start looking for your glasses. I motion to Steph, get in here. Get your goblin butt in here. <laughs> All right, we'll go to uh, Seamus and then Yiplag. Plenty of room. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll go I'll go in. Um, if I can. Are we be? I actually I don't know if I have enough movement to get in there. No, there's no uh, movement restrictions when you're in the crawling round. You can go to the next room. Oh, you know? okay, gotcha. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll go. Uh, just behind. I mean, I'm not gonna actually go in. I'm gonna go behind. <laughs> um. You're again, just eleven AC. Me. Um. <laughs> eleven AC. I don't want to be hit by something. <laughs> you're gonna um, hide behind my goblin. Like you're still. Yeah. You can still see half of you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's something in the room. Out from so, Randall. Here's what you see. As you get over Yip Lag and look through the beaded curtain, you can see stepping out from the closet is a a, a lady troll. She's bulbous Shit. and massive, hunched back, kind of gross looking in terms of the um, um, her hygiene. You can tell she definitely doesn't really take care of herself, but she's squinting and she looks over at. Uh, I guess she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't even see. Uh, you there, uh, Sir Kronos. Um, but she looks and she's... Yeah, she'll see Yiplag. Lemony, is that you in the door? Is she talking to me? Lemony! Yeah, she thinks she is. Oh, uh, mm, nope, nope. Yiplag! 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 Oh, is it your plague or is it your plague? <laughs> your plague? Yeah, yeah. You changed it from the last time you said it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where's Lemony? What have you plag. done with Lemony? Oh, Lemony is over in the closet here. Uh, your another right. one. Where are you? Uh, to the closet by in your right. To your right. I think we're doubling down on something here. <laughs> I'll murder each of you. And you can see she gets her claws ready. Oh, my God. Oh. I've got your wait, 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 wait. You're just looking for your glasses. I'll help you. I I'm very good at finding things. You know, I find all these daggers everywhere, and I can't be surprised. I'll make a noise. Like, I'll, like, uh, take my greatsword. I smack it against my belt. I've got your glasses right here. Don't attack us. Wait, hold on. The sound of a great sword. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds just like glasses. I have your glasses right here. <laughs> Twang. <laughs> well, they're She's troll a, glasses. What? <laughs> well, they are troll glasses. You're right. Maybe that is what... Oh, there they are. <laughs> Give them to me. I have a flask. I'll take my flask, my glass flask, okay. I guess, and I'll smack it against my belt. Say, clink, okay. clink, clink. I've got your glasses right here. Shatters. <laughs> it shatters. <laughs> um, oh, okay, she'll Not start to, to like. Well. <laughs> she'll reach out and like start to walk, feeling the wall along the way, and she'll go over to you around and I'm the bed. Gonna throw, I'll slide the flask across the room here towards the open door. The closet is on the right hand side here, right here. Okay. All right, give uh, me a. Uh, I need you to give me a charisma check here. Okay. See if you can deceive wait, her with this. Wait, are you trying to? Go make her go back the exact way she came. <laughs> Maybe. What'd you get? Call it out loud when you're done. Yeah. Um, 
In the meantime, though, oh, we'll go to oh that's good. A thirteen. Okay. Oh my, She'll wait, hear the you sound. Have a minus, minus five. five. To her... okay, that's right. So oh, sorry. Uh, thir- How do you have a minus five? I'm not a very good looking elf. Clearly I did, not. I didn't know you could have a minus five. Oh my god. You know, yeah, I, I guess if you rolled yeah. a three, yeah. I, wow. <laughs> I thought my six dex was pretty bad. Yeah, kinda, that's not cool, but what am I going to do? It's all right. It is what it is. That's why you, we roll 3d6 down the line, huh? So, um, Steph, oh. I'll let you react right now because she called out to you. Um, and you offered to find the glass. So we'll jump to you, and then we'll go back into the order again. Okay. What do they look like? I'll help you. Um, she says, well, if you're going to be so polite, um, uh, they're, they're thick-framed. Very thick glass lenses. And the design ah. is so exquisite. Um, what is the design, Steph? What do you think the design would be? With your complexion, I would think you have rose gold with a couple of gems, like like cat eyes, like just just to help like accentuate your bulbous face. Of course, they're they're emeralds, but that's pretty spot on. Yeah, see, see, I know things. I'm very smart. Would um, you like to go search the closet? <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll just straight up go to closet. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> now you are. Than- is What's Tal that? really groping around like she she really can't see? She's got her arms extended. She was feeling the wall. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, the closet. Um, is out. I thought there's something there to the right on the right hand side. That is another door, actually. The one to the oh. east there. There's a door there. Yes. Okay. Um, Steph, um, you go into the closet. The closet is filled with jackets, coats, um, and it's it's just like stuff everywhere. Clothes on the floor. Clothes hanging. But since you're not a blind troll, you can see uh, the glasses. They are lying there in the pile of coats. Okay. I I pick them up. See? I found them. I'm useful. I know what I'm doing. Uh, thank you. I will take yeah, I them. Yeah, I do hand them over to her. Great. She'll put them on and finally, like, look at the room like she can see everything through those, those uh, emerald bottle cap glasses. Now it'll be much easier to kill you. <laughs> well, how are you going to kid us with a pair of glasses? Well, we'll see. Roll initiative. <laughs> and just what have you done with Lemney? Well, if you kill us, you're never going to find out what happened to Lemony. True. Oh. She's only got to keep one of us alive. We all share the same secret. All right, who got the highest? Uh, not me. No, actually, I think you may have. I got an eight. Yeah, you're the I highest. Seven. Yeah, you got the highest, Steve. Wow. Yeah, so least... it's the same order as before, Steve. <laughs> okay. Um, and then Randall. And then um... Steph. And Jeff, All right, I'll give her one last chance. I said, "You don't. We don't have to fight over this." I'm telling you right now. Take her glasses. Take her glasses. Ah, uh, all right, fine. I guess she wants to fight. <laughs> um, can I? I have my. Can I take out the crossbow and shoot at her face? Go for it. Do you have um, a great sword in your hand though, or a lantern or something? You said. Uh, you know, I had the great sword in my hand, so. So you drop it. Yeah, you could drop it. Is that my movement? Can I drop it and you pick up the You can just drop it and pull it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it's fine. You can pull it out, the uh, crossbow, if you'd like. Can I shoot this round, or is it next yeah, round? Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. All right. Give it a go. What'd you get? I saw it, then it disappeared. Where did... uh, it's 17. In the chat. 17. 17. 17. I believe you said you had plus two, so it's a 19. Uh, so plus two uh, with the great sword. Oh, uh, what's your crossbow bonus? Force, but foresight to range weapons, I get plus one. So that's an 18. Okay, so then you're going to hit and roll your damage. All right. Um, I don't have the damage written down here yet. Sorry. Oh, okay. I think it's a, it's a 
Mm, I know short bow's D4. I think a long bow's D6. So it's probably something like D6. Crossbow is D4. D6. Yeah, it's oh, D6. A crossbow. Oh, sorry. I thought you said yeah. it was short bow. Yeah, the uh, a bolt would be D6, I believe. Yep, go yeah. for it. D6. Very handy. In papers are useful tables. Yeah. Four, and uh, that's it. What'd you get? Four? Four. Okay, perfect. All right, now we go to uh, Seamus. Um, all right. Is she's you said she's a troll. She's is she very tall? Yeah. Okay. Like nine feet tall? Yeah, something like that. How tall is the doorway? <laughs> Ten feet. Ah. <laughs> nine and three quarters. Um, <laughs> all right. So then I don't think I can reach her glasses. Um. I was going to use the other, the same spell that I used before and make her glasses unable to move. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I have to touch them. Uh, Try it. Clo close is touch, correct? Correct. Okay, okay so I can't do that either. Um, yeah, I don't really have much here. Um, does she count as a um, humanoid? I think so. Troll? No, no. She's. I don't think anything no. counts as a humanoid. It's a monster. I could double oh, check. Oh, that's that's very good for the several spells that I have. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think she's humanoid. Let me just double check that. But go ahead. Um, if there's something else okay. you want to do, go for it. For some reason, it's not opening this spell. It's opening every. It's opening the spells around it. Okay, there we go. Uh, nope, that's also humanoid. Okay. Uh, Maybe not. Right. Maybe I'm wrong. Chat, hmm. let us know if you know. Um, okay, I'm going to just move to there. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'll throw a magic missile at her if I can't reach her glasses. That will certainly roll. Uh, be able to be uh, done. Go for it. Okay. Ooh, that I think you're going to fail. A 10. Yeah, because you need an 11 for magic missile. Oh, no. Uh, would you like oh, to use you your luck to token? Yeah, I'm wondering if I want to use my luck. I, I mean, I only you, have I two damage did. spells. It'd, be, it'd really suck if I lost one of them right now. I'm going to oh, use my yeah, luck. Yeah, you lose them. I think we lost the light spell very early in the last game we played. I think, like, I, almost immediately. I've, yeah. Yeah, I've very purposely bad. not cast it yet. Don't. Nope. Oh. Hey, exactly what I need. There you go. <laughs> In 11. Okay, no longer have luck. This one goes uh, up to 11. <laughs> By the way, so uh, um, I'm assuming it works uh, the way it normally does. Tommy Bravo assures us One that damage. Humanoid. Yeah, and Randall Traded in the my future. luck for one damage. In the future, oh, wait, they are humanoid, apparently. I don't know why that's giving the text of charm person. That's okay. Uh, well, it's a first draft of the character sheet on Roll20. So that is true. Yeah, actually, Strange we, things may happen. We are, uh, interestingly enough, using the character sheets on Roll20 for some of them. Uh, and and we've I've never seen that. Even when I ran the Valentine's one shot, it wasn't there. So this is very new stuff here. So I don't know who made it, who posted that on Roll20. But I'll just bring a magic yeah. missile while we go to the next person here. Um, but who's up next? Yiplag? Yiplag. Ooh, oh, and okay. I, I will move back out of the room as well. Sure, go for it. And you blag, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna go right up to her and hit her in the face. Okay, go um, for it. Can I go here? You're I'm three feet tall. Up. She's nine feet tall. <laughs> oh. Oh, crit fail. I don't know. What, okay, so I guess what happens when I crit fail? <laughs> there isn't a rule for crit fail for uh, regular like attacks, like a <sighs> sword attack. So. You should be okay. So I try really hard to reach her face. And I end up, um, one of the coats from the closet was still wrapped around me. <laughs> and I just trip and fall on my face. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> let's see if Torvald's going to do something. Because he's always riding your coattails. Let's see. If uh... you can <laughs> I'm glad, like, because I'm holding a torch, too. Like, I don't set anything accidentally on fire or anything, do I? Yes, you do. You set the coats on fire. Now that you said it, you do. 
<laughs> what? Steph, no, no, the like, closet. I I'm fairly sure I like, told you all. That I've been holding a loaded gun with my finger on the trigger the whole time. That's not a problem, is it? <laughs> <laughs> the, the coats are going up in a blaze. She's oh, like, no, no what if my, there were daggers in there? My winter furs. <laughs> Go oh, for well, it, I mean, Torvald. Put on guess. these furs. Yeah. Jesus. Well, so much for all the magical clothes that were in there. That's it. Torvald, what are you doing? <laughs> trying to find something to match your I, I, I was counting on a magical jacket to go with my magical sandals. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't see any reason to hang around. I think I'm going... <laughs> yes, <I can> just... <laughs> yes, the age-old pairing of a fur coat and open-toed <laughs> sandals. <laughs> the worst <laughs> Of ever. course! I'm a Viking. What do you want? <laughs> Timeless. Oh, yeah. Close okay. toe, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, well I'll just I'll come to here and I will um There's I'll beads in your way. Oh there's <laughs> beads in my way. Ay 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 ay. Yes, yes, yes. Why am I why am I going towards the troll? I don't even know these people. Oh. Um okay, well I'll step through the beads and I'll throw a spear at her. Great. From a distance. I can't wait for this crit fail. I hope not. Speeds entangle your your spear. Fourteen. <laughs> you hit. Thank you. Oh, it would have been a great crit fail. Whoa. Take seven. Nice. Damn. Good job. I'm oh. so sorry. I hope that didn't inconvenience you. Right in my spleen. <laughs> That's see, weirdly like, specific. You see, like, I green guess, yeah, how do you know organs. that? <laughs> I was a medical doctor when I was you, younger. You have an extreme awareness of your body that's <laughs> very unsettling. I was known for my steady hand in surgery. We go to uh, her. It's her turn. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my steady hand. Oh. She's going to smack <laughs> you, uh... You blag. Yeah, you caused all this. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, that, that definitely hits me. <laughs> That's going to hit you. What is your armor class just out of curiosity, though? Uh, my AC is a 15. A 15? So I am pretty high, yeah. That's, okay. That's good for Shadow Dark. It is pretty good. But if, uh, alas, she gets much higher with an 18 on the die. She's going to attack you. Oh, she gets two attacks. Oh, no. Red Rogue. Uh, but that will not hit you because uh, her claw. Uh, wow, she gets a bite as well. <laughs> claw, claw, bite. Oh, no. We're going to party like it's 1979. She's only going to hit you with, unfortunately, one claw, Steph. Unfortunately. For four points of damage. Okay, not the worst. Um, and she's going to. She looks like, you know what? I feel like my spleen wound is closing. And you can see yeah. the wound that you got there, the spear injury is sealing up as her regeneration kicks in. Oh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. You have a very odd fixation with your spleen. <laughs> You'll pay for that. I can't feel my spleen right now. No one can. <laughs> <laughs> No Steve. one. That's a normal thing. You're describing normalcy. <laughs> Steve, you're up. And by the way, your torch looks rather low. There's two minutes left in your torch timer. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, but but there's some blazing fire in the closet. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. So there's no need for torches right now. Yeah. Are we now on a timer in this yeah. room. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, what you this got. dungeon is made of uh, wicker, right? Wicker. It's, it's all wicker. <laughs> it's an wicker entire hay. wicker dungeon. Go ahead, Steve. What do you got? Um, Are you going to go Super Saiyan here? So if I cast Burning Hands on the troll, is would Steph get caught up in that? Uh, let's see. Burning Hands. What's the uh, reading on that? The wording on that, I should say? I said reading, didn't I? Uh, burning hands, <laughs> you spread your fingers with thumbs touching, unleashing a circle of flame that roars out in a close area around where you stand. Uh, so actually, you, it just hits everyone around you in this in this game. Everyone so if you move, around? Yeah, so oh, if wow. you move uh, one square forward, it, yeah. would just be, it would just be her, the troll. So if I just like move to here, it would be cool? 
If you move there, you'd hit Jeff and her. Oh, wow. So I'll just move here. I vote against that. You go there and you're good to go. <laughs> oh, trolls. I mean, we got to kill these things. So, so, so the way that we're ruling this is that burning right. hands basically affects every space around you. That's what right. it is. Everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, sometimes you have to interpret with Shatter Dark. Yep. A close area around you and close is within five feet. Yeah. So. yeah. Wow. There you go. All right. A little different. All right, so um, go for it. So do your um, casting. You need to roll a d20 and get else if that's what's going to happen. You yeah, exactly. You need to hit her with fire. So go for it and roll a d. If I, hit, if I cast it, it's going to hit everybody else around me. That's it's just you're, you're good. You're good. Yeah, where you are. It's no one space. Okay. Patrol is the only. Anyone thing who's to adjacent to you is going to take it. No one's yeah. adjacent to you right now. All right, just that's patrol. what I was confused with. All right, so I'll uh, I will hit her with hands. And I believe I need an 11 mm -hmm. spell casting with that. Yep, um, and I think it's wisdom for you, so just add your wisdom to the roll. Okay, with my wisdom, I don't think I have much. Wisdom. Oh, I have plus two. Yep, okay. so roll a d20 and add two. <laughs> there nice. we go. Nice. Roll your damage. It's a d6. Alrighty. Just single d6, right? Yep. Or should I say, yip, yip lag? Yip, yip lag. <laughs> Two. But most importantly, you seem to have affected that regeneration. It seems mm. like uh, she's very angry that you use fire on her. So, mm. curses, fire, I hate it. And uh, then we'll go to the top of the order here, Randall. Um, all righty, I uh, am going to come back in, uh, not going past Torvald, though. Um, I only have one ranged thing, so I'm going to throw another magic missile at her. Go for it. Come on, big money. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she's 20. instantly dead. So much fire. I, I Let me find the rule. I'm sure that's what it means. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Critical means you double one numerical value in the spell, so 2d4 now instead of 1d4. That's a very that's a very funny way of making it. It is. <laughs> it is very funny. But like you could do uh oh You could like double the distance or yep, like right. double oh, yeah. that that I I do kinda like that honestly. That's or funny. double the number of targets. <laughs> true. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's true. Hit, hit two right. things. Um, yep. Oh, but it does automatically just roll two dice, though. <laughs> it knew. Um, yeah. uh, so that's six. Uh, no, it knew. Damage. Yeah, it knew. It knew. And it's oh, even showing. Oh, I'm impressed. Crit. Yep. So Randall, uh, this glowing bolt splits into two missiles, and they both pummel into the troll's flesh. You have done a good six damage. Sure. Uh, anything else from you? Um, no, I think I think that's it. And I just yell, "How's your spleen now?" <laughs> I can. Don't feel answer it. that. I really don't want to know. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Yip lag. Okay, I'm gonna redeem myself. I'm gonna. I got you. I'm gonna redeem myself. <laughs> I get up, dust myself off, and. 20. That should hit. Hell yeah. Roaring fire closet behind you. You stand up, slash it for four damage. Okay. No. Oh, Lemney curses you. Why would you let them in? And then uh, it's going to be Torvald. Torvald, she's, you see, you smell the blood in the water. You okay. see Wolf you. How's she looking? Bad. Bad Torvald. Really? Oh, bad. She looks bad. She's been taking a beating. Okay. You can uh, see her spleen now. I can even I can see her spleen. Um You are the brute squad. I am the brute squad. Uh I think what I I, I think what I want to do though is and you can tell me if I can do this or not. Sure. sure. Uh, I want to come down here and I want to take my spear and jam it into the closet where all the burning clothes are and just kind of shovel a big spear full of burning clothes. At her. Well, yeah, just so get like a fork full and fling them. Right, like almost like okay. a. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess it like, doesn't make sense then. Yeah, like pitchfork a, a, a burning coat at her. Yeah. 
All right, two things are going to happen yeah, here, Jeff. Two things are going to happen here. I'm going to say, because it's an improvised weapon, the lowest dice is a D4. That's how much fire damage it would do, a D4. Okay. And then you'd also have to, if you if you were to um, roll a... Maybe? If you roll a crit fail, Jeff, I'm going to say it hits Yip Lag. Okay. Uh, I want to, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this through as I as I ran towards it. Maybe what I want to do is is get uh, get the coat on it and then stab her with the spear. Okay. With the, co so with you the wanna... burning coat on it. Oh, okay. So just you. Okay. I Instead see. of so you flinging wanna... it at her, yeah. just kind of getting the burning thing on it and then stabbing her with the like, like now my got the coat. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna shish kebab the coat and then stab her with the. <laughs> If with you want to try the... it, you can. You do get the sense, though, as you're about to, like, That's pick a coat too... out that would give uh -huh. you disadvantage on the attack. It would throw off your balance, throw off your aim. You could do it, though, but you'd have disadvantage. I can stab her with it. I can stab her with it. I don't have to throw it. I know, I but the coat hanging metal. off the end of your spear, it's okay, kind of but it's, awkward. But it's yeah. fire. I think I think it's worth it. I'll Go take the disadvantage, and if I have to get lucky, then 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 I will. Yeah, go for it. Okay. You always, so... You're always lucky, Jeff. Oh, Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I've rolled a 10. That's probably going to miss, right? It does. Okay. So if I re if I use luck on a disadvantage roll, what it, do I just roll it with disadvantage again? You just re-roll just... the, the... No, re-roll the 10. So just roll another attack and we'll take the... We'll replace okay. it. Yeah, we'll replace the, the 10 okay. with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, hang on. There we go. Nah. Replace it with an eight. Well, it was a nice thought. It was a nice thought, um, but there's a burning coat on the floor in the center of the room, and it it now <laughs> picks up the bed that was in the center here. There's a bed somewhere in this room, and it's on it fire as well. So much silk. It was so pretty. It's on fire now. The clover etchings into it or embroidery, going up in in a blaze. <laughs> that was so sexy, guys. Why? Wait, why? We're destroying the treasure. She's gonna reach out as we fight. This is, all, this is literally all of the treasure. <laughs> Probably. Steve, that she reaches out to you, um, and she tries to touch you. But as you can probably see, I rolled a nat one for the first claw. She's gonna give an eleven for the second claw, and the bite will be a thirteen. Do any of those hit you? Hit who? Me? Steve. Oh, oh Steve. Steve. Okay. Sir Kronos. Pay those again. A the highest was a thirteen, and the lowest. That could possibly hit was an eleven. Well, I have AC ten, so the thirteen would hit me. Then the and eleven you... would hit you as well. You only have AC oh, ten. You're what? Are you not wearing armor. armor, or? I have leather armor. But your dexterity is that bad? Dex is eight, so it's negative one. That's why. Okay. All right. So first damage from the claw is four. Mm -hmm. How many hit points do you have, Steve? Thirteen. 13. So first one goes and does four. Now you have nine. <laughs> and the bite does three. So seven. So yeah, you take seven in total. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and she's not happy because that regeneration does not work. She's going to move and try to run. I guess she's maybe thematically still on fire or has a coat near her. And she's going to run away from the fire. She's going to go through the beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. And she'll go to the door ah! here. Oh, is that you? Is that where you are? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she runs right into you, Randall. Get your spleen that's falling out of you away from me. <laughs> you just see, like, green goop pouring out of her wounds. Dripping spleen juices everywhere. <laughs> and it's um, Steve's turn. Um, Could I chase after her? She yeah, go ahead. She ran right into me. She ran right into you. I didn't see you there. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast, uh, or I'm going to use my special demonic possession uh, trait on myself three times per day. So it's plus one to damage for three rounds. So heck yeah! Oh wow, that's good. So my eyes will roll back in my head, and I'll start cursing profane things and puking green stuff everywhere, and I'll go running after her. Pazuzu. While trying not to uh, turn my head completely around. Sure, is go it, for it. Is the puke? Like putting out the fire? I'm so good. Oh, I'm not trying to do that. Like, <laughs> it's actually not puke, it's a uh, split pea soup. It's split pea soup. No, thank you. I'd rather be on fire, thank you. <laughs> Just let me burn. 
<laughs> All right, Steve. Let, shoot. This could be a big hit right here. Go for it. Okay, so I'll use the great sword. So it's a great sword plus two, but I also I forgot I have um plus one for strength, so it's plus three to hit. Oh, of course. Point. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Let's do it. <sighs> oh, that's hey, hey. cool. All right, roll and your damage. What was the damage for a great sword? I'm sorry. I think it's a D10. All right. Great sword is D D. Wow, one D12. One D12. That's okay. Wow. wow. Powerful. Now, do I add that? No, I'll add the um demonic possession damage. Yeah. Just do it after. I also add the pl the um plus two plus the one for the strength. No, not not normally. No. Mm -mm. Okay. So strength and like the great sword bonus is just a hit. It would actually, yeah, exactly. It would just be the plus one from your demonic oh, thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. Ooh, can't see my dice. And it's funny, Steve. That's seven then damage, right? Crex is a d12 plus one? Yes. That is the exact number you needed to kill her. The extra oh, one nice. was the demon number. She had 24 hit points. She was at 17. I'll splash her in the back. I'll puke over. I'll say Blah. profane about her family because that's what the type of mood I'm in. <laughs> I'm Excellent. not sure if I'm happy with that victory now. <laughs> that was horrible to witness. <laughs> you did. Right in front of you. This kind of uh, levity lasts for three rounds. So for three rounds, I'm going to be walking around cursing everybody's God, puking at everybody, and uh, oh, this is great. saying nasty things. And, uh... okay. Excellent. All <laughs> one masquerading as a children's author. <laughs> <laughs> the goblin mother sucks. <laughs> so, um, the combat is over. The you troll's body lays there. The, the troll's body lays there, burnt and scarred and puked right. on. She's and, not getting uh, better, is she? No, the, the regenerate, she is done. Or completely. Okay. Yeah, you can hack her up if I'm you'd a, like. Hack her I'm going to take her glasses off. We'll toss her in the burning closet. Before, yeah, uh, the door. Good idea. So yeah. Her her. Token. yeah, I'll take her glasses off before her body is, I don't know, eaten by Sir Kronos. It's... <laughs> well, <laughs> it's on you guys. I apologize in advance. It's not my fault. That's <laughs> not something you can just apologize for in advance, and it's okay. No, no, it's quite all right. It's quite all right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you, that'd be you, know, you understand. <laughs> you understand that this is something what? that happens from time to time. This is great. Oh, man. I'm, I'm Torvald the Courteous, remember? <laughs> uh, Randall, before uh, you go enter the room again, the rest of them are putting the body into the burning coat room. By the way, the burning coat room is eventually smoldering and and will eventually die down, so you'll need new torches. Um, but, but Randall, you see that rainbow um, door from where you were at at the, at the uh, main room entrance? It's fading fast. Give me an intelligence check. Told you we need to get oh, out. I'm good at those. You were the one who told us we had 10 hours or something, Torvald. Jeez. Based on the logic of uh, how fast it's been diminishing since you've observed it, I mean, 45 minutes, 50 minutes tops. Oh, boy. What's going on with our torchlight? Torvald, I don't mean to be offensive to your oh, math, boy. but... Oh. <laughs> I think we have slightly less than 10 hours left. <laughs> oh, do you think? <laughs> because yes, because I... the way the way we do math in my village is it goes one, two, many. <laughs> <laughs> when, when and we all, were... I, all I said was it's many hours. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's... you said 10. I do believe you did oh, say I, 10. I, I, I... Which is more concerning if you just stop at many. Where the fuck is ten on that spectrum? <laughs> it's 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 is it more than two? It's <laughs> many. I, uh, technically, that is correct. I think it's a, 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 it's great. a translation problem. Right, we've already we just lost another one of our very few <laughs> minutes. <laughs> oh, so we, have, we have about forty-four <laughs> minutes left. Let's go back into. Uh, Hold on, hold on. That here sounds we... like we have many, many minutes. Here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into our crawling order so we can we can establish okay. some. Uh, so Who's Steve, since torch? yeah, so Steve, since you just finished, you killed it. Uh, um, I'll cast we'll jump light. to Seamus. Seamus, you want to cast light? Oh, yeah. living on the edge. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> God damn it. 
<laughs> so light fails. I light a torch and I hand it to Seamus. There you go. Start I don't know what this now. technology is, but I don't like it. <laughs> I started it's a new torch. Fire. <laughs> All right. Me. Yes. So Seamus, you cast light. You are you are, you're unable to produce it. Um, we'll eventually Torvald on your turn. You'll take out a torch and you'll light it. Yiplag, what are you doing? Um. So most of the the bed, I want to take like the pillowcases or you at can least take whatever. Yeah, you could salvage. Yeah, because I'm like this is pretty. This is nice too. This and I'm small, so I'd be like this is gonna be a nice dress for me. Watch out, guys, <laughs> girls. Love I don't it. care. Whoever thinks this is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you start to take off the bed sheets and things like that. What are you doing, Jeff? Uh, well, I'll, uh, since we're out of lights, I will I will light a torch and hand it to Seamus, like I, I got said. You. Fair enough. <laughs> um, what are you doing, Steve? I think you find this is very reliable. <laughs> Sir Kronos, what are you doing? Uh, the torch I threw on the ground, did that go out? It's t The timer was up, so yeah, it's out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so since... Do I have another torch? I said I had two lanterns, so would that mean just two torches I have on me, or? I mean, they're, if they're lanterns, they're lanterns. You could light your lantern if you'd like. All right, I'll light the lantern. Okay, great. So you light that lantern, and you get the oil out, and ultimately, now you have two light sources. Randall, I see you moving north. Do you want to go that way? Yeah, I'm going to, with my uh, fancy torch in hand, mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, start heading for the door to say, I think we should open one more door and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to do it? I told you we should not be o opening many doors. <laughs> I think Two doors. Know. Wait, how many I, have we opened? Are we at many, many. yet? Many. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's very confusing. Too many. Yes, that is very confusing. Yes, now I see how difficult it is to do math in your village. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where do you want to go, Randall? Um, you good? Or you want to open the door? I'm or? scared of the door. Just, just now realizing that the entire math spectrum is literally just the phrase one too many. <laughs> one too many. Oh boy. It's a translation it thing. Yeah. It makes sense yeah. in my language. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it doesn't translate. Well. I'm going to go to the door and since for some reason our, our methodology is to put our faces against the doors to test them. I'll do that. No, no, back your hand first. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put my hand and then I put my cheek. Back of your hand. <laughs> so that if you have to crawl, you still can. You inspect the door, Randall. Uh, Tommy, who knows this game better than any of us, says that lanterns cast light to double near range. Oh, cool. So you now you know. I guess it doesn't matter all that Thank much for this because they're like rooms are pretty small. But if you were in a room, an area that was big, yeah, it would matter it would a lot. Help. Yeah, it could matter a lot. Thanks, Tommy. All right, and uh, just to point this out, Tommy, actually, I, I'm realizing you got the nice member uh, logo next to you. Did you know that you can do, get memberships on YouTube? Check it out down below next to the bell icon. Do it, everybody. <laughs> Brought to you by Skittles. Brought to you by Skittles. <laughs> all right, so Randall, the door uh, there. You get the, the sense Randall. this. This door is different. Um, as you inspect the door, you look down below. It looks like there's some sort of platform that you're standing on. Hmm. It's separate from the rest of the uh, the way that the the tiles are cut in this in this hallway. On the I'm sure that's fine. The one I'm standing on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Me. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think. I think that while they were making this hallway that there was a dispute with the contractors and they had to get a new team to come in at this particular tile. Sort of like a Washington Monument sort of deal. What would you like to do? Um, I, think about in it other words, I think I'm fucked. <laughs> you want to stay oh, there or you want to oh, move? Oh, shit. Wait, so did I feel any depression on the, the tile? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Okay, um, I'm going to cast Fixed Object on the tile. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Okay, go, go uh, for it. Yeah. <laughs> me, I, don't... I like it, yeah. Go we'll for never it. know if that mattered, though, because if the spell works, the tile won't move. Oh, and it so worked. It worked. You rolled a it cast successfully. The tile seems to be in place. 
Um, it ha I have five rounds. Uh, oh, well, I guess if it were in crawling order, then it, it, I, that would be my my turn. So it's it stays still for five rounds. Nothing can move it. It can support five thousand pounds of weight. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, hey, Tabletop Bob. Memberships from Tommy Bravo. Yeah, and D&D &D DM Mom just became a member. And wow, 10 gifted memberships. Thank you, Tommy. Appreciate that. Always. Uh, I will. Sweet. If you will allow, I can also. Can I open the door as well? Um, I'm going to say yes, just because this is like such a fun, funny moment right now. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to also open the door. Um, you hear. And, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. You you fix the floor and tile in place. You open the door and you hear like the sound of like gears cranking, but like to no avail. The the platform you're on looks like it would probably have shifted and slid you down into a pit trap, but you have affixed it. So nice job. Oh, oh good. <laughs> and uh, guys, the there's a bunch friend. of dots in here. <laughs> they are spikes. So you're good. Oh, that's the pit trap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I um, all right. I hate to say it, Torvald was actually exactly right. <laughs> we opened one too many doors. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. Uh, you flag. What are you? I'm doing? walking off of. The, I'm stepping off yeah. the platform. Then. That's a good idea. You flag. What are you doing? Um, okay, I have stripped the bed of anything useful. Oh, um, pause for a second. You were at the bed? I was at the bed. I'm sorry. Move yourself yes. back into that room for a quick second. Now okay. that the, 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 like I said, the flames have died down, the bed, you, you, took, you, you saved what you could, you salvaged what you could of the embroidered pillowcases or blankets or whatever. But now you can see, like, soot lining the wall right about here. It looks like there is a, uh, I'll po point to it again right here. Looks like there must be some sort of door frame right up against that wall. Um, now, this one looks like it might have been hidden from plain sight, but the one that Steve is at, that uh, Sir Cronus is at, that's actually a door. So, you've got, it seems like there's two other exits from this room. Mm, okay. I'm going to try to push it, because uh, uh, guys, guys, I think there's a door here? Yes. It opens, get... and it's oh. not a pit trap this time. It's a five-foot hallway. Hmm. Five foot hallway with lots of dots. More the dots, dots are. The, ignore the dots. They're not there. Okay. <laughs> that hallway looks a hell of a lot like the pit trap I almost <laughs> fell into. <laughs> um, can I do more, or or is that my turn? Can Would I? Would you like? In? If you'd like to move, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I. Oh, I do have a lantern. I'm going to light mine as well. Okay. So I, I brought one torch and one lantern. So this is my last thing. Perfect. Uh, I've reset the time. Other than twenty five daggers. <laughs> I have reset yes. the timer for you. Yeah. And 25. Oh no, but but now I'm I'm okay. If I carry one more thing, I have to drop a dagger. Hmm. Well, hopefully that doesn't come to that. Te I think technically I am carrying a dagger that you gave me. That's, That's true. true. No, you, you, get, you get gave it back. back. Oh, I did give it back. You're right. Yes, I did give it back. You're right. I'm back to 25. <laughs> well, you could um, just stab it into his thigh. Uh, go up or down, or is this my end? <laughs> then it'll be fine. Yeah, so you, you go through what looks like a secret passageway from the bedroom to another hallway, another chamber. Okay. To the north, you can see it, it kind of just curves to the west. It's like northwest. It goes in that direction. And then in the south, you see something off the corner of your eye. A large black cauldron. <gasps> hubba hubba ding Treasure. ding! Treasure. <laughs> Um, wanna, I uh, pop my head out, and I go, I found treasure! I think I found it! I found it! And I pop back in. Okay. We jump over to uh, Jeff, and then Steve, you're on deck. All right. Well, if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. Go to there, and uh, I'll I'll look at uh, Yiplag to see which way I should go. Oh, now you want to go through another doorway. I see how it is. You said treasure. <laughs> <laughs> what, you you don't want me to go first? No, you can go first. It's okay. I thought. Okay. So <laughs> you tell me how far I can go this way. So this is a hallway, and it looks like if, uh, like five to ten feet in front of me, it opens into a room. Yep. Okay. There's, oh boy, this is looking scary. 
It's just a room with just a pot of gold in it. <laughs> this seems like a Which setup. What do you need? You is see, that uh, clip art from Microsoft Word? It is. It is. <laughs> it is. All right. Well, apparently I still have my spear in hand. You get. So I'll you get, poke gently at the cauldron. Sure. Hold on. Let me describe from, this from for right you. At, <clears throat> at the far end of the spear. So I'm like five feet back. Yeah, I don't have a sense. ten foot pole, but it's a five foot pole. It's a five foot um, pole with a pointy metal end. Yeah, it's, that'll work. Um, so here's what happens: you, you enter into this room. It's a small room. Sitting in the middle of it is a cast iron pot, sparkling, with a pile of gold coins in it. This sits right in the center of this room. Mm -hmm. um, you reach out and tap it. Mm -hmm. It feels there. It's solid metal. You, your metal clangs against the the cauldron. Mm -hmm. Anything it else you want to do? There. Uh, I'll <laughs> take there. the spear and poke it into its gold coins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll oh. poke it kind of into the gold coins and, and kind of like sift them just a little bit. Sure. It, you can. I'm, easily... I'm not trying to knock them on the floor. I just want to see if they're if they behave like a pile of coins ought to. <laughs> Absolutely. You can you can like push some aside. Now I, you know, I did watch a lot of Ducktales as a kid. Every time Scrooge McDuck do dove <laughs> into the yeah, I'm not doing gold. that. He should, I think he should die, honestly. But um, <laughs> you he should can, have you suffocated can, and yeah. had been concussed over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. Like a ball pit, but with coins. You can you can move oh, it over oh. a little bit and get your spear maybe like a foot in there. It seems real, and the gold coins shift you know shift around and uh, okay. clang and yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'll 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 pull I'll pull my spear back and mm -hmm. motion people to come along. Good idea. And by the way, uh, this is an idea from the chat. Tommy Bravo said, uh, I think Randall deserves a luck token for that cleverness with the uh, the pit trap. So, Randall, luck token. I agree, Tommy Bravo. Thank you he very much. He also said I should get one for my spear fire attack. <laughs> if it worked. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Bravo only I put Tommy Bravo in charge ingenuity. of ingenuity. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I, I think we should put Tommy in charge of luck tokens. The official luck token, uh, <laughs> yeah. czar. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Jeff, that's your 100%. turn. Uh, Thank you, you, you inspect much. the pot of gold. You you tap around on the outside. You stick the spear a little bit inside. It seems to be seems seems legit. Huh? Yeah, there's no there's no issues. Nothing seems. Is it out a of the cauldron order. like up on little feet, or is it just a pot sitting just directly pot. on the ground? Just a pot. Yeah, a pretty okay. big pot. I mean, fits you know fits a lot of gold coins in it. Okay. More gold than you've ever seen in one place. Well, I think sure. one of those coins would have been more gold than I've yeah. ever seen in one place. Steve, what are you uh -huh. doing? There's a door right in front of me, you're saying? Yes, right in front of you, there's a door. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll demonically puke all over it, and if it starts bubbling, I'll assume there's heat behind it. <laughs> it doesn't bubble, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, well, I can't listen now unless I get my... Well, I'm, I'm discussing demon at this point, so I'll stick my ear into the puke and listen. You can listen. Nothing. You hear nothing from it. Is the uh, the handle locked? No. Nope. Can I open it? Yeah. Yeah. Let me open it. You do. You open it into a kitchen, and that's where that heat was coming from. Okay. The warm embers still burn inside a black iron stove. There are clay jars, plates, and cutlery scattering uh, the knee-high counters with quite a mess. A round of uh, looking around this area, you can see there's one obvious thing here. A gold cake. A gold cake? Mm hmm. It's a. Well, that it's doesn't like a sound suspicious at all. It's a cake and it's gold. Where are the other guys? Did I see where they go? Where they went? Uh, they went through the secret door. Um, yeah, I called out. I called out that we were going in there. Or yeah. I was in there. Okay, could I go back to find them and tell them there's a gold cake in the sure. room? I don't know. We right split back. the party. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to do that. So I'll, go, I'll go here too. Fair enough. I'll Guys, there's a kitchen, you know, in, in, in between cursing demon. There's a kitchen in there with a golden cake. <laughs> uh, okay. Random. That'd be our random encounter roll. Before I left, did I see a door in the north? The north to the north? Wall? Oh, oh, in that in the kitchen room? Yeah. There was a door to the north and a door to the south. I'll tell them that, too. Okay. Randall, what are you doing? Um, I'm assuming I heard everything with the backdrop of uh, 
loud and gratuitous vi- uh, vomiting. I would um, say so. <laughs> uh, I am going to go to the... We still have this door open, correct? Correct. Okay, so I can actually see out there. Um, I'm going to go there and just yell, it, Can you drag the gold out? We have approximately, and by approximately, I mean exactly 27 minutes left before... <laughs> I, I've become very good at math and rainbows in the last few minutes. <laughs> How'd you know 27 minutes? I did forget minutes. that I went to college for this. How'd you know 27 minutes? That's why I minutes. became an adventurer. It became entirely useless. What I want to know is how you knew 27 minutes. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Well, you said 45. Uh... 50 tops. <laughs> He's building in some margin for error. 50 tops. Um, Um, You know, the rainbows work in mysterious ways. um, Randall. Sometimes uh, they just shave. (laughs) They shave a few minutes on the other end, you know? It's okay. Uh, What do you do, though? So you call out. um, Do you want to go into the former rooms or do you want to join the party? Um, I guess I I actually kind of want to make sure that we have a clear exit. Okay. So tell me where you Um, are. Since I know, since we know that someone went over here, um, but we haven't actually gone through this door, but um, yeah, I kind of want to make sure we have a clear exit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand literally in. I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll stand here so I can see this main room. I can see the where where we came from, um, and I'll be right over here. Just you know, pull out in a way that makes it appealing for me to come to you, if you need me to. <laughs> That makes it appealing. <laughs> Steph, what are you doing? Did you take any of the gold, Jeff? Or you just tapped around your spear? I haven't taken anything or touched yeah. it yet. I was just making sure it was yeah. physical. Steph, what are you doing? What's he black doing? He black. Well, I just saw um, Torvald just t- touching the gold with his sphere and i'm just gonna be like oh man we got 27 minutes left we gotta grab this we gotta get going and i'm just gonna run up to it um and grab a piece of gold sure when you grab a piece of gold steph Mm -hmm. just as you're about to reach it like your fingertips are inches from it you're a booming voice from beyond and let me know if you can hear this voice actually i hope you do Do not touch the gold, mortal. <laughs> Why that not? Sense? It's right here. Did the voice work? Yes, it did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, that's great. Good. High production value. That's right. Spare no expense here on Tabletop <laughs> Bob. <laughs> that's what Skittles money gets you, you know? Skittles money. <laughs> Do not touch the gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not touch the gold. We got it. But but why not? You can't have a conversation with it. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> Do not Do touch not the gold. Just because. <laughs> well, I want to touch it. I really mean it this time. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, I'm so torn. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, is one of, are one of you talking to my da? I, I swear I hear him back there. Okay. Would he tell me I can touch the gold? I no. don't want to tell you what he tell you you can touch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounds a little me too. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. No. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No. <laughs> and you grab it, Steph? Uh, yes. Okay. No, I touch it like a toddler would. Like, okay. <laughs> what is a to- what is a toddler grab gold like? I don't know. Oh uh, well, my daughter would be like, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I'm seeing either like with your mouth or like a hand covered in like jelly. <laughs> well, so again, I'm I'm a goblin, so just I'm just trying small, to eat it, <laughs> and I'm trying to like reach up into it. So I'm okay. like, you just grab a piece of gold and pull it down and then you see this guy appear in the corner of the room is a leprechaun oh what's your name man I forgot your name 
And he's huge. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's like really big. Say what now? No, <laughs> Everyone dies as they're crushed against walls. <laughs> so you see a leprechaun in the corner of the room. And. Torvald, do you remember his name? Were we supposed to know his name? Lemony! Lemony! Oh, yeah. How about this, Randall? Why don't you and Steve come on down to this room so you could see him? <laughs> okay. You heard the, the, the sound or the, the voice call out. Lemony, uh, Yip Blag called out, and that draws your attention to the room. And he goes, Oh, you got me. I'm sorry. I was just trying to keep me gold safe. It is oh, I, I Lemony. Like, uh... It is. It is I, Lemony McGillis. Lemony, what do you have all this gold for? Uh, it's my pot of gold. Well, do, I'm a do you not trust Banks? Of course not. Oh. I'm with you there, brother. Of course not. I'd rather hide it under my mattress, but you burned it down. <laughs> that wasn't me. Oh, that may have been me. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> You're attacked by a troll. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you, you killed her. Winamir, you killed her. To be I fair, we helped her find her glasses first. Ah. Give her back I, her glasses, I, I, Seamus. And, Give her back and, her <laughs> and also, to be fair, she did say she was going to kill us before we killed her. We didn't, we, she, we didn't choose violence, she did. That's true, and this we, dungeon we're, we're is a castle mild, state. We're, we're mild-mannered home invaders. <laughs> well, we, we mean the, no harm. The rules are the rules, and you found me pot of gold, so I guess there's nothing I can do about it. The rainbow door is probably closing soon. Damn that rain. You can come with us. Yeah. You don't I have mean, to you stay in here. Yeah, you don't even have a bed anymore. I'll have or to go a, find one. I don't really know what your relationship was. <laughs> or clothes. Don't you don't have, have any clothes. Them. They all they all burnt down. Uh, most of those coats were Winamir's. Oh. Yeah. She fancied herself. Am I still in that demon form or did the three rounds pass yet, Bob? Yeah, it's three rounds have passed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three <laughs> rounds. Again. Okay. Three rounds have passed, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Look, uh I, I don't mind you taking me gold right now, but you got to make sure you don't tell anybody else about this place. I don't think Goblin anyone on. will believe it. I... No, I won't. Do you promise? You all make a promise. I don't like the way you phrased that. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to make, make promises that you can't keep? He that is seriously my... creepy <laughs> voice. <laughs> no, he doesn't say that. But um, where is it coming from? Well, when it, the first you heard the voice, it was like a disembodied voice. It was like just filling the room. You get the sense that he was probably doing that to scare you off. I see. <laughs> yeah. Um, he says, though, I, I, I will, I will, uh, I will trust you to keep this a secret. Next time you see a rainbow, don't follow it. <laughs> I'm already one pair of sandals up. Honestly, <laughs> we didn't. The luck. We, we. I looked up, said "Ooh, a rainbow," and then Torvald said, "Hey, there's a cave at the e the the rainbow's ending right here." It was just sort of, you know, serendipitous. Mm. You know, looking into that cauldron, how much gold do we think is, there are gold pieces? How many gold pieces do we think there are? It looks like it might be, Penny. might be <laughs> hundreds of gold pieces. Are we gonna get it out of here? You, if with you, great if effort. You, yeah, we have if two of you holes? carried it, you can move. Yeah, <laughs> the key thing here with Shadrach is like, as it's like encumbrance is like slots, but like, if you're just willing to move slowly, you'll okay. get it out of there eventually. Yeah, we can also drop our shit. Like, sure. I'm not, I'm not carrying the extra torches that I brought out with me. I'm not carrying the extra spears that I brought out with me now that we have gold. You get I literally have. I can buy nothing in my inventory. Grappling hook. Well, if we um. <laughs> I'm, I'm not dropping nothing. my daggers. What we I'm promised is to it. take our share from what we earned on this adventure, and we can leave him a little to be friends. Are you saying that out loud or no? No, I'm just, I'm all well, to the group. Not you whisper, you, whisper you huddle up. The real world. All right, so you huddle up. Yeah, you, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. That was an accident. Okay. <laughs> I, I accidentally clicked oh, the, 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 the... Oh no, Seamus just, like, glued the cauldron to yeah. the 
This is where we discovered that it wasn't actually me being clever. I just accidentally <laughs> cast fixed object all the time. For those of you who are just listening to this it's, instead it's of watching the minus it. minus touch, not the Midas touch, but yeah, the right. minus touch. The minus touch. For those of you just listening to this audio instead, um, he just pressed the button for um, fixed object on roll 20, so it looks like it cast it. Yeah. So we had no idea what you were trying to do here. I thought you were trying to do something clever. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, if, okay. if, so what are you doing, guys? No. If the crazy know. demented demon puking thing says we should leave some gold, I guess I'm not going to argue. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm over that now. I'm, I'm all better now. He's all I, better. I, but I remember. <laughs> yeah, you can't say I will you're not all forget that. <laughs> you apologized in advance for throwing up on us. Ten minutes ago, I could I could do it again if you really like. No, me. no, that's okay. <laughs> we've seen I enough think, spleen for one it. lifetime. I think we've seen enough. All right, I well, feel, do oh, we feel like he's honest? Well, I guess that's it, guys. <laughs> Sorry, we gotta Jeff. Go. We gotta go. I he's hate you, please. Randall. <laughs> he says, "Please, please, uh, if you if you will spare me a few gold, that would be nice. I can rebuild my my fortune again." But I, I, I'm at your mercy here. Uh, you killed Winamir. You burned all my clothes. I, whatever you can I do, they were her clothes. Me. I mean, our clothes. Okay. Yeah, we can spare you some, and um, he, here are your your sheets back. I'm Thank sorry you. I took them. <laughs> <laughs> Who was Winamir? I was gonna steal your bed sheets, but <laughs> now I won't. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, so I will say you, you do you. have an awful lot of very nice hey, shoes. I, I just want to point it out. I'm pretty sure this little fucker's trying to stole us so we get trapped in here. Yeah, we, we gotta go, guys. Okay. Go. Big handful of gold. Pass it at him. Skedaddle. Okay, so you, you give him, like, you what? Like, a like, handful like... of gold and chuck it at him? I think uh, no, Steve... I, don't, I, I didn't throw it at him. I tossed it at you him. I tossed it. Yeah, I think, Steve, you wanted to ask Underhand, one question. Underhand, gently, arc. Can some of us grab this cauldron and get, get out of here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah, we're yeah, beefy. yeah. So you, you hand a you get you do a handful of gold, Jeff, like maybe like twenty gold or something. Sure. Okay. Many, you handful. Many gold. You all hand him more some, than two. He's got more than twenty gold pieces, and just get out of here. Yeah. Okay. So you uh, pick up the cauldron and you move. Um, mm -hmm. We'll just say it takes you a few rounds to get out of here uh, if you're hustling. Uh, let's see. Let's just move your tokens. Do you want to go in an order, or you just want to? Does it matter? Oh, do I, I don't like the fact that it wasn't just like, thanks, folks. Next time on Tabletop, Bob. <laughs> well, I could bring you to the front. Yeah, I'll bring you to the front. Yeah. You want to go to the front, Jeff? I'll bring you to the front. I don't know. I think it's time <laughs> to go. <laughs> Here we go. Is he oh, following us? Hello, I must be No, going. he he looks like as, you, as you're as you taking the gold through the secret entrance and um, actually, you know what? I, I, we don't need the map, actually. Let me go. Let me switch this over to our bigger face view. That's the official term for this scene. The big face view. As you're leaving, you can see him. He's kind of like looking at the few pieces of gold that he picked up in his hand, and he's like kind of, you see like a tear fall down his eye, and he goes, oh, Winamir. And you exit out um, that chamber. You get to the front room. You pass the tea. You want to take a refresh a little bit, Randall. You can get a little more tea, and you head out the rainbow door. And just as you walk out the rainbow door, you see uh, the sun, uh, you know, has been out. And it seems like the rain has completely stopped. Uh, it's dry now. The grass feels pretty dry. And the rainbow is fading. The door disappears as the rainbow um, vanishes. The mound that you were just in is no, no longer. You can feel the ground. You dig a little bit through the dirt. The entrance is gone. You head back to town. Remember, Farthington is a, a walkable town, so you head back to the nearest um, tavern. What's the tavern's name, Steve? Uh, it's the Brew. Uh, the Bruce, the Brew Inn in uh, Sylvania. The Brew Inn the in Sylvania. The Brew Inn. The Brew at Sylvania. The, the, the Brew at Sylvania. The brew, the brew of Sylvania, and you Very get down. Very confusing for being in Farthington. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, a of... it's, it's a branch office. It's a branch. Yeah. yeah. Get a lot. It's, a it's like it's like having Brooklyn bagels, but you're in Colorado. Yeah. yeah. 
It's it's a franchise. That's it. And you sit down. You you go. You you feel real good about everything. You order a private we, room. We, you sit we've down. We've laid like a burlap sack over the gold. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're, you've <laughs> hidden it all. Yeah. You, you've hidden it all. You're being and, a little subtle. Don't yeah. worry. This is actually a dead body, not money. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> It's a chopped up troll. I, I have no accent left. <laughs> Imagine the Swedish chef saying, you can tell it's a body because it's got daggers sticking out of it. That's it. Yeah. That would have been much funnier. It's a burning That's smell. Oh, it's just a troll. Don't worry. You're about right, it. Jeff. It was the Swedish chef. That's what I was hearing. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying not to do the Swedish chef. I love it. No, I love the Swedish chef. I um, know, but it's it. That's a that's a, an unflattering stereotype. That's all right. So... <laughs> We go to the back room. You were like, you know, ale on the house, right? Everybody's drinking, having a good time. And you're finally alone. You close the door to the, the private room at the, uh, the tavern, and you pour out the gold. Oh, the glorious gold. Hundreds of gold. Maybe 500 gold pieces in total. More than you've okay. ever seen in any one sitting. And then, uh, Steph, you grab one just like you did the first time. And you hold it up, and you realize something. Your hand is covered in yellow. Hmm. Um, guys, does gold, like, melt at room temperature? Depends on the room. <laughs> Can I take a gold piece and just bite on it? Yes. Oh. And you it not is. gave me shit for drinking the tea. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my magic sandals are backing towards yes. the door. <laughs> it is clearly uh, fake gold. It is painted on in the moment at the rainbow and in the in the in the leprechaun's hollow. This seemed like such a perfect pot of gold, but Damn. now you see what you have are just a pile of rocks. Perhaps that leprechaun had a few tricks up his sleeve, and perhaps one day someone will find the pot of gold in the hidden Leprechaun Hollow. And that's the adventure for today. Thank you for playing. Uh, what, a, what a game. This Magic group is sandals. hilarious, though. My god. Hey, I walked out with the same amount of hit points, a little <laughs> bit more caffeine in me, and a new pair of glasses. That's a yeah. win. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeff got new shoes? I got new shoes. Oh, I got man. the puke on everything. Steve got to have a vomiting fit. And uh, Steph, you <laughs> have all your daggers intact. You I do. I didn't get any new ones, though. I'm a little sad. A rock collection. Nice you, bought, you bought I one think, assuming you had the I think I would money. actually give the glasses to Yiplag, since it was Yiplag that did actually hey, find them. <laughs> we are up one cauldron. That's true. You have a cauldron. <laughs> That's very true. What's a cauldron worth? <laughs> uh, probably a decent amount of money. Enough I would to... think that's a lot of iron. You know what? Now it's that enough. That leprechaun thinks he got us. That's right. You know what? It is enough to do to pay your bar tab for all the beers you just paid for. <laughs> I want to take my my dagger, and I'm just going to somewhere in a subtle place, just scratch at the sur surface of the cauldron, just sure. to make sure that it is iron all the way through, and it's, it's not a real. Just... It's a real it, what would be a real burn is if it was gold underneath the <laughs> black paint and we didn't and we know sold it. it for like 10, 10 silver. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and it then he a... comes and picks it up at the pawn shop. <laughs> neener, neener, neener. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cauldron made of gold. <laughs> but oh, that's man. brilliant. That's like that hiding it. That's the purloined letter. I love it. That was great, Jeff. Hide it in plain um, sight. Well, everybody, that this has cool. been fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, Randall, Jeff, Steve, Steph, thank you for coming back on. We got to play some more games, uh, hopefully in, in the near Please. future. Uh, thank you to everybody who watched us in the chat tonight. It was a, it was a <laughs> pretty funny one. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone out there celebrating. Um, and, uh, you know, I think uh, we'll be back with our regu regularly scheduled programming, which is Curse of Strahd, next week on Tuesday. Um, if you'd like to check out any more Shadow Dark adventures, I've got a whole playlist that I'll uh, link down below or maybe in the comments. And if you could do me a favor, if you can leave a comment um, as well as like this video, subscribe, do all the good things because we've been doing really well with uh, the numbers on YouTube right now. So let's keep this train rolling. And my goodness, thank you, James from KC, for another five. 
gifted memberships. Always appreciate the support. Um, if you'd like to support the channel as well, the memberships are available, the Patreon down below in the description. But like I said, um, I just love that we get to hang out with you all and play some games and have some laughs and get some fool's gold. <laughs> Looking forward to Flag How Day. How appropriate. <laughs> Absolutely. Flag Day. Stay tuned, everybody. It's coming. That's we'll right. see you we'll on be the back tabletop. on Flag Day. That's right. We'll see you on the tabletop. Have a great night. Nice, everyone. Nice.